and welcome to Warhammer, where we gather every week to play Warhammer in my living room. And I can't express how much I'm looking forward to today. Yay. Oh yeah, baby. Woo. It has been a wee while since <laughs> we played with our own characters. Well, oh, I, I'm always playing with some character or another, but it's been a wee while since they played with their own characters. It's been a good bit over a month, hasn't it? Aye. Yeah, because we had our Christmas special, our New Year specials. We did tape a few uh, episodes for Tales of um, around that time, and not all of those are up yet. Um, and we'll discuss those very briefly before we start today, so you get an idea of what's going down. If you're watching this like six months down the line on YouTube, you'll already have watched all of these. But for anyone who's watching it live this evening or who's watching on the Monday afterwards, there's going to be a couple of things that you don't know yet. Like, for example, did Birdie go into the Under Empire? Of course not. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Why would I do something like that? Did she go chasing Purple Hand amongst the Skaven? No, because they don't exist and they don't exist. Yeah, I had a very boring time. <laughs> <laughs> Does Birdie like Shallions? No. They do exist. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> Does Birdie hate Shallions? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, so we're, uh, I'll give a brief recap on those. I'm not going to tell you any of the details. I'm just basically going to say, loosely, this sort of thing occurred. Like, for example, he discovered something terrible. That's Father Leopold. And nothing has happened because of this. They've just left it there because they don't know what to do about it. That sort of thing. Um, I'll very quickly run through those. Um, yeah, a lot, uh, some of these guys, I don't know. Yeah, they don't know that. either. Yeah. Indeed, some of them do. Um, some of them had a big discussion about it. We've had a whole stream that was a discussion about it. The tales that you did not be involved with. <laughs> what? <laughs> some of them, some of them preempted it and got someone to deal with it on their stream before they even knew about him. Deal. Not convinced it's So, <laughs> uh, before we see what kind of dealings. <laughs> before we get into the depths of all those fun little recaps, all of which will be about a sentence each, just to get us into the main part, I have a couple of things to open up with first. We massively appreciate all your support these last few months. It's been extraordinary. Um, for all of you who've joined us on Patreon, whether you are dropping money our way so we can build our studio, or alternatively, whether you're just following us over there so you can keep up to date with what we're doing, thank you so much. Um, if you're out there thinking, is there anything else that we can do to help good old Law Hammer along? The answer is absolutely yes. There's one thing you can do that doesn't make a small difference. For us, it makes a huge difference. And that's simply spread the word. Talk to other people or just, if you like, press like and share, like and share, whichever social media piece of poison you prefer. Um, go out there and do please discuss Lawhammer as and where it suits you. Uh, because the chats that we've had over in Discord these last few uh, months have been absolutely extraordinary, whether it's been all the cool bits of fan art that have been popping up, whether it's the just general Warhammer goodiness that's been going on down there. Um, there has been more lore discussions kicking around there with uh, bigger depth than I've seen in most other places. It's been an awful lot of fun. So thank you so much for joining in. And if you do want to help us a bit more, do please click those buttons. Like, you know... You can't help yourselves. Obsessive compulsive, like you're an elf. Um, <laughs> on that, uh, uh, we've been having some issues. One of the reasons I've not posted up the videos, I'm going to be speaking to our corner goblin about this during the break, um, with converting videos from one type of file to another type of file, which is why some of them haven't popped up um, mm -hmm. online yet. Um, and uh, that being the case, the video where Alan Menowife uh, did her second upgrade of her character hasn't gone up yet. Do watch. It should be going up very soon after I spoke to the Corner Goblin. Um, <laughs> and once that's done, you uh, in that one have a very long discussion about Elven Paths, which uh, I read directly from the rules that we use. And I think you might find really fascinating and useful if you've got any elves out there. On further bits of lore, this Sunday, so that's two days' time, I'm going to be joining the Lore Master of Sotek over on Lore Beers to discuss Setra the Imperishable. Uh, this is going to be one heck of a stream. I do believe that good old Sotek has already promised to list out all of the titles <laughs> that Setra has at least published so far in print. So it's going to be the easiest stream in the world for me. I'm going to turn up. <clears throat> and then an undead, dry undead from Kemri type is going to roll out. That's so tech. And he's going to roll down his scroll before the battle begins. And he will start at daybreak. Then the stream will end. <laughs> Easiest stream for me ever. Really looking forward to that one. That's this Sunday. More realistically, there'll be lots of fun chat there about Cetra. One of the 
unexpectedly more important characters of Warhammer than you might realize to do join us this Sunday. Uh, other than that, uh, I have a masterclass for those of you who like masterclasses on mapping. That's next Tuesday over on Rookery Publications. If you're not following Rookery, you should be because Andy, Lindsay and I, and of course Mark Gibbons, artist extraordinaire. Um, I can't believe I said it like that. He hates it when you do that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> but uh, um, we have a whole bunch of fun announcements about to come out for that, including one that might actually be kicking around the table somewhere because I was playing with it just yesterday. It's bad. Is it sitting up there? Yeah. You can't see it's hiding. Um, uh, we've got a new board game just about to hit, which we're all very excited about. Um, but more importantly, this Tuesday, we have ourselves a big mapping masterclass for our Brazen Root patrons. So do pop over there if you want to know how to map caves. We're going to be delving deep into cave systems. And again, much like my previous mapping masterclasses, this is designed for people who don't know how to do it. Also, it's designed for people who've tried it out and they're not too sure if they like the results. Basically, anyone can give this one a go. Right. I apparently scared Dan away. No, uh, you're okay. I quit. There was an interloper. <laughs> we need to get a latch for the door. Yeah. Holy, That's disgusting. The way it did not work. Ah, <laughs> interloper. Cat. So we um we have a cat which you may have noted from um one of the attempts for the cats to actually stream from our room in one of our previous posts. Um we have a cat that comes in and uh, we sadly have someone who's deeply allergic to cats right there. So we have to be super careful um, about that. Has anyone got anything heavier that they can my back? Right. Can you pick your yeah, back? That'd be lovely. Mm. Right, beyond that, I would like oh, to get perfect. going, but before we do yeah, that should do. Um, before we do, uh, let's do our quick little brief recappy things. Oh. So we can just very quickly state what each of our lovely characters did on their adventures when they were in Altdorf. We're going to keep it really simple. Elric went to the colleges. <laughs> College. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. College is. Um, and uh, Elric found himself a new passion. <laughs> Women's. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. Gerhardt became a doctor. Yay. Oh. Unfortunately, though, it came at a cost. Oh. Five years of medical school. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Half a million pounds. <laughs> Sage decided that, well, not Sage, Yumi decided that she didn't like trees. What? <laughs> okay. I'm just leaving it at that. Um, she also reconnected with some of her past. Mm. Leopold discovered something horrific and proceeded to deal with it in the best way possible by telling some other people and running with those other people. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything, didn't involve herself with anything that doesn't exist. Didn't lose a face. And at no point was she terrified. And at no point did she swear a lot at the Goddess of Mercy. <laughs> Badly named. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and Alamein away. Bloody nonsense. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> she also visited the colleges. And if it wasn't for the fact she was an elf, may possibly have starved. <laughs> possibly. But because she's an elf, because of her choices, is almost possessed. Definitely um, would have died of thirst if I hadn't been in it. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's nice. But you are, so, you know. Worked out all right, then. <laughs> we are going to be taking <laughs> up play approximately two weeks later. An event has occurred, a relatively large one, between Altdorf and now. We're going to be covering that next week as a part of one of our flashbacks. Because there's a certain someone, I'm not looking at anyone, who won't be there. He <laughs> is going to be studying with his new friend, who we're going to be introduced to as soon as we start the stream. Because for those of you who've been paying attention to good old Gerhard, he got himself a book. That book has had consequences, and somebody has arrived to give him a little bit of tutelage. This somebody is Nordlander in his 60s, and spends most of his time in a loincloth, drunk or high, spread out on the barge. Skip's gonna love him. <laughs> <laughs> Kindred spirit, am I right? Yeah, <clears throat> busy mates. So are we all ready? Uh, or does anyone have anything they'd like to bring up before we begin? 
Because I'm ready. Yeah. Well, we normally ask for XP at this point. You know? Oh, yeah, that's true. Should yeah. we try? Yeah. 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 Why not? After, after an extra 2,000. Then we get some XP. Yeah. Given that we are moving to good old Middenland in Middenheim, <laughs> <laughs> the sign of Ulrich, the god of rock, in your direction, we are going to go into episode 27, Howl of the Wolves. Oh. The sun was high in the sky and it was hot on the foot shower. Exceedingly hot. So hot that doing any work at all was not just sweaty business. It was not just uncomfortably sweaty business. It was actually intolerable. One man had decided his best way of dealing with this is to get so drunk that he doesn't even need to deal with the day. However, come midday, there are several people looking at this man, not more than maybe five foot two, five foot three, a shock of grey hair sticking out of his head, stubble all over his face. A noble, apparently, from Nordland, not that you would know it from his dirty loincloth. The scars on his chest, his face, the missing bit of ear, neck out of his nose, bit of his chin gone, two fingers on one hand also gone, several ugly wounds all over his rather ramshackle body, lean, quite clearly fit, and he's snoring. He's also somewhat pink on one side, <laughs> and really pale on the other. <laughs> he's been spread out and Everyone that passes by him, should they wish to deal with the blistering heat of summer, can't help but go, oops, <laughs> oops. The past couple of weeks, he has, broadly speaking, been at the nicest way of describing him a pain. <laughs> Unless you like the following things, and you may have a very different opinion on them. Sex. Drugs, exceedingly loud music, sex, music, exceedingly loud drugs, <laughs> lots of shouting, looking at anyone that moves and judging them as to whether they will have sex with you, and by you, it's him, and also ignoring Gerhardt unless Gerhardt wants to do all of those things. Because obviously he's Gerhardt's new master. Oh. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Is this because I offended Gosser? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? He has choice words to say. This chap whose name is Sigfeder. He has choice words to say, such as, What's the point of getting green velvet unless you stain the fucker with every fluid you fucking got? You <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> As he then dives out into the water, thinking that he's going into the dock. <laughs> this is an adult stream. Products <laughs> adult people. Not the first time I've deployed that piece of horror. <clears throat> that was him on one of his better days. <laughs> Um, you may yes. would like to try and paint <laughs> something on this chest so that it like burns around it. <laughs> uh, That's quite good. Uh, like a saw, he snores through it as you carefully paint what? <laughs> well, I mean, two penises. <laughs> well, I was hammer thinking, and Sigmar, they'll heat it up north. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, balls. that's a good idea. A hammer of Upside Sigmar. Down. A hammer of Sigmar, <laughs> definitely not a penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have started the new year in fine mood, in full swing. <laughs> he 
he snores away. It's uh, certainly the least useful individual you've had on the boat. He it does, however, if you have any alcohol, unerringly find it. He's also, in his own way, quite charming. Um, he is obviously really only interested in one thing, and that's whatever leads up to his next passing out. And he will engage with leading up to that next passing out with a certain amount of abandon until eventually he runs out of energy and snores away somewhere. At points, he sleeps in the rope store. At points, he sleeps with Dumpling. At points, he sleeps with anyone who is willing to sleep with him. He's enthusiastic. He's consistent. But consistent of pretty much everything. In his inconsistency. That's your mentor. That's great. Um, Alamena wife will spend most of her time like up the mast, but you know how she usually sits in the bit? She'll just like lie along one of the arms, just like soaking sun up. But she's got like full mask <laughs> scarves on her face, but what she's wearing is just like like, you know, an, an elven tunic, like one of those really short slips that the mm. elven, um, a classic elven girl would wear. That's all she's wearing. It is seriously hot, and I think that's something for you all to consider. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those strange results. Some people are awakened. Yeah. Elven found his new passion. Yeah. <laughs> I said just a tunic. <clears throat> um, it's, uh, <laughs> as they may say up here in Nordland, taps off. <laughs> um, for many people. Um, it's too hot to really do anything. Fortunately, deep down in the food shelf, you can avoid the worst of the sun if you wish to do so. There are certainly a few individuals, each of which are dealing with it in their own way. And let's make our way around the table so we get an idea of how this intense summer heat is being handled by different people. Sun still, um, when the sun itself held still in the sky and the hottest day of the year was the day, supposedly hottest, at least the longest day of the year, was the day that you passed your doctorate. Yeah, and we're now a couple of weeks after that. It's when they did their exams at Althorpe University. Isn't it someone's birthday on Sunday? Very possible. Or are you monster? Uh, monster. He's monster. monster. Yeah, indeed. The longest night of the year. Elric, how do you deal with the heat? I think yeah. you, I think he's in a position where he might not be having much problems. <laughs> Come up the mess well, with what's me. What's everyone's problem? Like, it's grand. It's, it's a bit balmy, but it's fine. Elric is a bright wizard. Bright wizards deal with pyromancy and fire, and indeed, by the very fact they channel, actually, the burning, passionate wind of magic that is the red wind, doesn't really feel the heat at all. Doesn't even really sweat. It takes almost superheated heat for him to be sweating at all. He'll be probably in full uniform, <laughs> happy as he could be, happy as a clown. Guns out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if no one else is on the deck other than the, the lout lad, he'll probably confine himself to the cabin, work on his meditation. No, come up the mask. Read a new me. book um, that he got. And come and sit and read up here. It's warm. I don't know if I can climb that. I'll help you. It's nice. He'll try. Oh, God, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> he doesn't want to read it. Climb, climb, climb is strength based. I know, but. <laughs> yeah, do yourself one as well because you said you'd assist. Mm -hmm. Assisted. Pardon? Um, <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Let me look at my new character sheet. <laughs> uh, is it uh, easy? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm fine. Yeah, Successes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you've got I advantage. I had 60. Yeah, yeah. 64. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, you can uh, climb up, perch. Totally fine up there. Might a bit of a breeze. Yeah, um, up yes. there it's almost it's balmy and nice. Cold. And <laughs> How about Gerhardt? How does he deal with this um, extreme weather? Um, well, uh, so everything is rolled up, but not taken off. So uh, rolled up, rolled up sleeves, <laughs> rolled up <laughs> trousers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, true. Have you got a little handkerchief? Got I, I have. 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 <laughs> um, you will need to purchase one, and sadly, I don't think you did an outdoor. All right, no, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, who would have known this sort of thing? I mean, yeah, yeah, quite. You can make something makeshift if you prefer. Uh, no, it needs to look reasonable. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so just imagine that, and then uh, book in hand. Not the book, different book, uh, just a general book. Maybe poetry, probably a poetry book. 
um, <laughs> that somehow conveys the idea of malaise, sticky evenings in, you know, the sun sort of thing. The sun, the sun. <laughs> oh, how they are a bun. <laughs> Imagine it's his own poetry there and not one of the masters of the classics being pulled out from the past. <clears throat> um, beyond that, mm. you've also got good old Dumpling. Dumpling appears to be immune to the heat and by immune to the heat, she sweats buckets. But she doesn't appear to complain or care. Her hair is plastered <laughs> to her nice round face. She's a mass of toothy grin as she makes her way from the hot galley out into the hot sun, passing out refreshments as and when they're required. They are all, all, without fail, hot. <laughs> because she thinks that that is what you need to get you used yeah. to the heat around you. You don't need cool snacks. No, no, that doesn't work at all. No, what you need is something proper hot in you, so all the hot out there don't get you. The more hot in you, the better. Ain't that so, Siggy? Ain't that so, Siggy? Oh, he's asleep again. Hello. Then off you go. That's Dumpling. It's consent of <clears throat> the old world. <laughs> Dumpling. It is, I checked on my stream. Wears um, uh, her chemise, her completely sweat dripping chemise with uh, <clears throat> uh, nothing left really to the imagination there because of the amount of sweat mm. um, and uh, uh, a skirt her skirts tied right up um, around her midriff badly they keep falling down she keeps on to go out pick them back up again and yes of course she does have hairy feet is she in her own wet chemise competition right now? Um, <laughs> and she's doing really well. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, she's definitely winning. Yeah, she's, she's definitely um, at least second place in her competition. Um, so there's Dumpling. By comparison, below decks and never coming out into that burning hell is McGreek. Um, von Wittgenstein. She uh, stays beneath deck. She does not come out. She finds the entire weather quite bluntly unacceptable. Um, um, she is down there gently reading books with the slightest crack from one of the slits open to ensure as little as possible of that hot air can come down into what she believes is the best place on the barge, the cool below deck area. That's her at least. <coughs> and then, then we have our pause because there is no Dr. Flaster. Dr. Flaster is not here. Dr. Flaster, for her own reasons, decided to stay in Altdor. Definitely not related to what occurred when you were there. But Dr. Flaster is no longer here. If anyone requires doctoring, they have to turn to good old Dr. Youngfroyd. I'm a pro now. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's, that's an interesting that one. Not in that way, not in that way. <laughs> Particularly um, given you're a master. There is to know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite. So, um, all things said and done, a nice mixture of different folks there. Yes, you got something else you want to say? Um, the only thing is, is obviously if uh, Plaster is no longer with us, mm -hmm. um, occasionally checking in on Lucas to see how he so, may be So, he's <laughs> Can I get dibs on her uh, cabin? No. Um, <laughs> well, who's going to stop me? Um, it's the baby's room the now. Baby, the baby doesn't oh. need a fucking room. <laughs> baby fit the shoebox. Someone we take it before. We do not endorse you. putting babies in shoeboxes. No. Just want to be I was here. putting the shoebox. Never did me any harm. <laughs> Does the fact that someone takes it before dumpling and soup for take it for yeah. Lucas? Mm. Lucas is in surprisingly fine fettle when he's out in public. Um, he has his brave face on, and he has some nice, kind words to zhuzh everyone along according to the current situation. Oh, it's not really that hot, Master. I shouldn't worry too much about it. Sweat drips down his face <laughs> as it makes his eye patch slip every once in a while because sweat. he pushes it back up and tightens it at the back of his very wet head. Um, like yourself, he's a proper gentleman. He keeps his shirt on. He keeps his jacket on. He keeps his truth. He keeps his boots on. Um, he's having none of this, you know, stripping off business. Mm. Quite right. Le leave that for the lower orders. Thank you very much. Um, as uh, he busies about whatever needs to be um, done, which is generally, are you really sure that he's going to be the sort of person that we want to have, you know, around? He, well, uh, uh, honestly. He was looking at me 
lasciviously. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, and I recently purchased a dictionary, so I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he does that with everybody. So, um, in the in the nicest way, it's not just you. Um, I think just just so what I've what I've learned is just just make sure that there's a nice solid sort of, you know, no thank you between you and me, sir. Right. Um, he offered me a competition. I shan't use the words he used. Right. I didn't know what it meant, so I I asked around a little bit. Alan Menowai knew what it meant. And it was, well, put it this way, it involved me doing some sort of suck thing and him doing the same at the same time. I see. Yep. No. No, it's too hot. It's not icy at all. I was very much not at all interested in this. And I really don't know how to deal. Oh, oh, I think you might be stirring. I I think you might. Excuse me. um, As he goes off. What a prude. (laughs) (laughs) And that's Lucas. How about good old Yumi? Yumi. Yumi. How is she dealing with the extreme heat? Uh, Yumi is actually, well, as much as she grew up here, back in Nippon, it's probably even warmer <coughs> yeah. and humid and gross. So here, um, the, the issue is that it's um, it's a dry heat and if anything feels really hot. I mm. mean, just to give you an idea, we're sitting at 37 degrees. Oh, no. Oh. It's enormously hot. Um, far too hot. Is that a continental 37 or a UK 37? No, nah, it's more of a continental 37. Oh, no, so, no, so, so it's, it's, it's yeah. almost acceptable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, if it's UK 37, it's, we'd be dead. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. It's the apocalypse. Chaos <laughs> has won. <laughs> Indeed. Um, if we were in Albion, we would all be goners. I'd be asking for your fate points right now. But that's not required. We are in the Empire. We're okay. How's she coping? Um, she has um, stripped down to um, some like cloth wrapped around her like top half um, just to keep things in place uh, and some <coughs> shorts and then she has some wrapped around her hands and her feet uh, mm-hmm. and she is practicing some um, like kata and other like martial movements. It might be too hot for actual sparring but um, Indeed. Um, along with her is a relatively tall Nipponese man. Oh, he has managed to say literally nothing to anybody for the last two weeks that you've been on the boat. Some of you have attempted to co- talk with him. He has just looked on with a certain amount of stoic frown. His hair is immaculate, tied back neatly. His long <coughs> robes are equally immaculate. He has a symbol right there, a tree on his chest. It goes down to rainbow roots. Occasionally, he deigns to look at someone who won't stop prattling, and he gives an ever so slight sneer, (laughs) as if, who even are you to be talking to me? (laughs) He barks occasionally, orders a Yume when they are doing some form of on the boat swishing movement thing. Sometimes it's fan or sticks. Or <clears throat> he looks like he doesn't approve of literally anything that she does. But it's been two weeks later now. Anyone with an intuition um, advances of 10 or more will know that there are gradations of his disapproval. <laughs> his disapproval of her martial mm-hmm. techniques, they're sitting at, let's layer it from one to ten, at a steady six. His disapproval of the rest of her life, a steady ten. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for all he may be disapproving of everyone around him, um, if anyone's got twenty or more? Uh, I think I do, yeah. Excellent. I've, I've also got, got that empathic. <laughs> that um, helps indeed. I've got fifteen Perfect. and empathic. 15 and empathic too, nice. So yeah, um, a, a lot of it's quite clearly he's uncomfortable. Well, 15. Um, yeah, he's he's surrounded by uh, clearly an environment that he's not comfortable in. Um, and the only route through to comfort is acting in a way that he clearly does not like at all. So he is beyond his comfort zone. And yes, he has taken up Flaster's room. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
Oh, that... Mm, <laughs> that's definitely... <laughs> he must be grumpy for others. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she... Um, you may well uh, ask the fighters of the group uh, to spar occasionally, mm-hmm. if you're willing. I shall. Yeah. Uh, she's not <laughs> asking you at all. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, and she, yeah, she'll spend most of her time trying to, not to get too dehydrated and trying to train. Uh, and also maybe try not to be too loud for uh, Magritte, but probably just being really annoying, just like, stop, 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 <laughs> just above her. You are significantly better than what she considers to be the intolerable heat up above. Some tippy-tappy footsteps. Fine. She came from a castle full of horrors. That's, That's true. Mm-hmm. And um, tippy tappy footsteps were generally nothing more than a <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Back to my books. So apparently, this doesn't bother her at all. She's quite used to background groans, moans, shouts, calls, and worse. Mm. Oh, also, because she's taken her top off, uh, her tattoo will be out so, if anyone yeah. of you haven't seen it yet no. what's um, your tattoo look like uh her tattoo is of a fox uh with nine i mean mm-hmm. she can't see her own back but mm-hmm. nine eyes um kind of reared in the back cool. um yeah um i believe our regular comment is good work good work <sighs> hey it just peeks the, out from under the, the bandages. Um, you know his name is Jiro because she's told you his name is Jiro. Mm. He does not like that tattoo one bit. <laughs> you two can tell that in particular. Good old elf girl and blindy boy. Um, girl, he's just... Blindy boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's our new TV show. <laughs> elf girl and blindy boy. Um, he clearly is not happy um, with that tattoo and what sits upon her back. And at points when she turns away from him, he actually shudders. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shudders with um, actual concern. So, how about the good old father? How is he coping with um, uh, heat that he's just not used to? Um, well, I, I think a, a combination of hiding below decks, but then going up and, and assisting with the sparring, offering some pointers, um, some teaching. Mm. <clears throat> because he, as it turns out, also has someone of his own to teach. <laughs> <clears throat> a young man, can't be much older than you would guess, 15, 16, and not a short man at that. He's already over six foot tall. <laughs> how how over six Bloody foot tall? Giants. <laughs> Just a tiny amount. Oh. Okay. Short, he's shorter than us. Oh, yes. Shorter Just than checking. this half of the table. <laughs> oh, the, the super bouncy tall half of the table, shorter. The other half of the table, taller. Perfectly respectable size. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Short horses, tall horses. Um, works perfect. Yes. <laughs> High horses. <laughs> if you prefer. Well, how much weird route have you had? <laughs> Well, it depends if they've been talking to Sig Fader. Um, and he is quiet, keeps to himself, pretty much hangs at the shoulder or the beck and call of Leopold. Um, sometimes he's in front of Leopold, acting effectively as eyes. At other points, um, he's quietly mentioning something that he's seeing over on a bank or something else that he's aware of. Um, they already seem to have fallen into a very easy relationship where there's a low-running commentary of anything that he thinks Leopold might miss. What's his name? Nils. Yeah. Indeed it is. Nils. Um, and Nils is uh, an unassuming chap. He clearly isn't entirely comfortable with the sight anyway, um, in that when he's not with the father, he tends to crouch a bit, pull himself oh down, not entirely... Uh, happy with his lanky, thin body. Um, but when he's with the father, he's entirely straight-backed and doesn't, in some respects, even look that tall because the father is so much bigger than him. And wearing out in the heat, assuming then he's out. I mean, as little as possible. He doesn't really have much in the way of probably just his robes, but without 
you know, without the leather or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, element... A breeze going in his nethers. Yeah. <laughs> element of Mike will call down from the mast at one point, you should stand upright. If you do it with your master, you should do it when he's not there. He will look slightly terrified. <laughs> An elf has talked to him. Um, a certain level of look at the company I'm in, Pride swells in his chest while simultaneously true fear. True, absolute, <laughs> gut wrenching fear, and just a small amount of urine. <laughs> yep, you catch the smell of that. Just, just, just the touch of urine. They just say, I think you think you've made him pee himself. They just say, I think it's <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> um, he will nod once. And uh, make his way back to the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Having finished <coughs> off with his particular chore to fetch food for his father. Does he does he what? approve his posture? <laughs> no. <laughs> then I shall be talking to the father about it. <laughs> Birdie, by comparison, has an entire crew's worth of people who are currently working with her. Whether it is good old Blatilda, mm -hmm. who has been literally showing her the ropes. Um, and continues to do so. Uh, much of your time will be spent probably sitting with her. She wears um, half trues, very loose fitting half trues, tied in place with a single piece of rope and a very loose fitting, I mean, you could call it a blouse, a top. It's, it's definitely covering her. Um, it's thick though and pale um, and normally has some sort of bandana or equivalent wrapped around her head to try and keep the sweat out of her eyes. Um, she's barefoot most of the time and padding about uh, the barge as and when required. Um, she has choice words to say about you if you try to get out of doing any work or if you lally, lally about or do any other <laughs> things. Um, the <laughs> heat the heat just doesn't matter. The barge must keep moving Yeah. as far as she's concerned. The barge must flow. Skip by comparison. He loves it because he works the night shift. <laughs> Literally makes no difference to him at all. He's wiped out in the uh, wheelhouse at the back, completely passed out during the day, wearing somewhat similar to Sig Feder, as little as he can possibly get off with without offending anyone. Um, and during the night, he's out chatting to the two girls, rasping away as the barge continues to its next destination. And of course, you've got your two gar barge girls as well, who, again, you don't see that often because mm -hmm. they're out at night. Um, and they sleep down in the rope store um, for most of the day up to the uh, bow of the barge. So again, you don't see them very often either. Um, but they are kicking about. More importantly, though, are your dogs. All three of them. Mm -hmm. Two barge dogs now. And a small but vicious Stop. terrier meat pie. Um, uh, Salty, for all he is a big fluffy floof, um, apparently doesn't care at all. He's happily <laughs> panting heavily about the barge, occasionally just sitting there, <laughs> trying to catch some sort of wind, <laughs> growling at anyone who gets too close to him. <laughs> apparently he gets on really well with Sigfeder. Sigfeder's like, ah! <laughs> In return, Salty's like this. <laughs> um, always looks uncomfortable, but always goes up for more. <laughs> Slick. <laughs> <clears throat> the puppy, um, by comparison, hates the heat, doesn't like it at all, and hides most of the time in the uh, house at the back, or alternatively up in the bow in your room. Um, and it's fair to say that meat pie can't kill the sun. No. But he does frequently growl at it. Yeah. Oh. And it's quite clear that he thinks it's attacking him or something similar. He may not be the brightest dog. He may <laughs> not be the sharpest, let's say, stick in your tool stick bag. <laughs> Great <laughs> metaphor there. Yeah. Uh, the tool stick bag <laughs> of doom. <laughs> as uh, <laughs> as um, he at points literally gets down, growling at the sun like mm. he can do something about it. I wouldn't put it past him. The barge dogs <laughs> um, both want to just jump out into the water, which is not wise. No. Strangely enough, Meat Pie will have none of that. <laughs> in the slightest. So you have quite a lot. But how about um, Birdie yourself? So from a heat perspective, because of her upbringing, even though she grew up in Middenheim-ish, 
Um, the heat doesn't bother her, but the light does. Mm. She doesn't do well in and bright light. Skies. And there's really not much mm. in the way she So she's wearing as little as possible. She gives no shits about nakedness or anything like that. She's just wearing what she needs to keep herself from getting rope burns and all of that. Um, but she will be continuing to wear her hat, shade her eyes, because the, the bright light's bothering her. <clears throat> it's, um, you may have noticed it on the second week. She's been out every day working, working hard at points. It's almost as if the tough environment has spurred Blotilda on to making her life almost miserable. Um, to see if there's a limit that she will just break and say, stop fucking telling me to do things! Ah! Ah! But she doesn't. Um, she's apparently unbothered by such things. But it's on the second week you realise that she's still as pale as the day she first started. The sun appears to not affect her at all. And it's the comparison as she pads by Sigfeder, the lobster. <laughs> um, his skin red. He is going to regret this one. A lot. And then you see her and she looks almost like a ghost by comparison. Her skin almost snow-like. Um, and you realise, yeah, yeah. Um, you're already tanning a bit deeper. Uh, you know, it's been a good couple of weeks out and you're, you're tanning. And you left the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah you're tanning. <laughs> she isn't, in the slightest. Um, curiously. Turns out licking warp stone does have some side effects. And neither, <laughs> neither is the elf. And neither is the elf. Um, elves indeed. Special someone. Yeah. <laughs> just choose whether to tan or not. Don't tan. They just don't tan. Um, <clears throat> then finally, Alaminowaith. Alaminowaith, we've already discovered, is uh, largely going to be out and about in the sun. She'll like jump down and spar the quick burst of energy and then she'll just be right back and she'll literally just lie there with like one arm hanging off for like eight hours. <laughs> and then she'll jump down again. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll go and jump all again. Now, our elves, if you didn't know out there, run slightly hotter than humans. They sit, there's only about an extra degree or two sitting above um, in terms of their internal temperature. They always feel hot to the touch in comparison to um, humans. That's very much an us thing. That's not a Warhammer thing that you know. This is Warhammer's version of elves. Um, and they run hot and they both love the sun and simultaneously almost cat-like adore it in their own little loungy way. Um, but she's got her full masks back on. Like She never takes them off now. Mm. Now there's strangers on the planet. Strangers. And Greta and um, she quite likes the sun, but she likes the sun in the morning and the evening. Mm -hmm. She does not like the sun in the afternoon when it's all really a bit too hot for her right glander values. It's uncivilised to go it's out. Ju it's it's yeah. just not acceptable. But in the morning, it's quite nice. Um, and she does a little bit of promenading um, uh, in the early morning sun. Quite enjoying having a little walk on the deck, hoping for a bit of breeze. I hope she's got a parasol. Oh, and yeah. She does not, sadly. It would have been funny. But uh, she has no parasol either. She has not been in the best place since leaving uh, good old Uber's Reich. Um, she um, walks in the morning and the evening, but spends most of her time down with um, good old Sigismund the Even Younger, um, looking after him and ensuring that he is not adversely affected by the uncommon heat. Yeah, if that is the case and she's doing these sort of morning and evening things, I'll I'll take a occasional session with the young'un. She'll appreciate that. Um, and um, we'll almost certainly discuss the finer points of what you consider um, are the potential medical things that, uh, and she literally has no idea, things um, that may be of concern and you can almost use them as a technique. No. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't mean you can poke and prog them with needles and go, let's see how babies work. <laughs> um, <laughs> but give you some all important experience for something that you yourself have had very little experience with because it's got an intellectual pursuit now rather than the alternative. And he's also a relative, probably. I, I mean, that, that was my position that I'm trying to come from. I'm trying to be a decent person to a degree. But yeah, also, you know, Medicine! <laughs> sure. Yeah, totally. Um, the baby is most times um, down below decks, and uh, the even younger is broadly a super quiet baby. 
very rarely shouts, very rarely has any issues. Um, and <clears throat> little less to say other than you arrive in Delbert. Just one thing. Yes. Elric feels extremely lonely. Because <laughs> uh, everyone's got their little buddies. Not for two weeks on a boat. Delta will keep you company. No, <laughs> she's got sick fed or not. Yeah. I'm sure they wouldn't mind a third. <laughs> well, I am well. I, I can do better. I. <laughs> 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 and you're not talking to Birdie, so that's on you. Is there well, still beef there? I, that is not for me to say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is it cooked beef? <laughs> that we'll, is the we'll question. be after two weeks in this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elric um, Poor has Elric, my ass. a lot to consider. <laughs> and as the barge arrives in Delbert's, drawing up close to what was once one of the most important cities in the north and is now just one of several large cities in what is now Middenland. He can't help but reflect as he looks down over the town ahead of him because this is the very first place that he met Birdie. Here, in Delbert. Good old days. Back then, um, she was travelling with a dwarf by the name of Dara, Aww. whom, it turned out, was a liar! <laughs> because she was actually of a royal clan and was on the run and her family came down and dragged her all the way back up to Middenheim again they were not best pleased to see her run off and go do her own thing with Birdie Birdie also who's not just a liar but you found it very hard well Elric's found it very hard to deal with the fact that she has been actively working against the better interests of the party and it's something that he finds exceedingly difficult to cope with. He admits he's also a liar. He's come to terms with the fact that he's lied quite a lot. He has never worked against the party. Ever. And it's, it's just that extra mile that looks exceedingly distant to him. And she's just run off over there. Her extra mile <laughs> in her loincloth-y thing and her wraps and her what the hell is she even wearing and why doesn't I'm she just imagining gloves boots and a hat just <laughs> 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 and why doesn't she burn <laughs> <laughs> um, and looking over Delbert the rise of the buildings the lack of smoke drifting into the air unlike the last time you were here when it was the depths of winter and snow was drifting and every fire was lit. Here, it's bright and it's stark. Across the Docklands, glistening bodies, sweat, working, and somewhat annoyingly, further up, a large blockade of barges over the Delg. That's something that has already been spotted by Glatilda, who has whispered over to Birdie, we might be fucked. <laughs> we might not be getting past here. Hmm. That's that's a blockade, and it ain't showing no banners and nothing. So that's not by whoever has ordered it or whatever. There'd be banners everywhere, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alameda wife, by comparison, um, can see significantly more. <laughs> as she looks out um, over the city and can't help but note that her nemeses are there and it has pricked her ears as she looks out over into Delbert's and sees the glint the glint of red armour all lacquered like blood Fresh blood flowing from the wounds of Ulrich's enemies. I think it's fair to say fucking Knights of the White Wolf. And not a small number of them. A whole bunch of them. To the point that you have become somewhat distracted. There is a lot of Knights of the White Wolf out there. Kicking around. Not on their horses. Stomping about the port. 
really doing uncharacteristic Knights of the White Wolf thing. It's fair to say you don't really understand Knights of the White Wolf, but you've decided right now this is uncharacteristic. In fact, they're probably torturing people or doing something terrible to them. Fitting or them up for crimes they never of committed. Crimes they never committed. <laughs> <clears throat> It's hard to stifle the giggle, the intense look in her face, the shaking <laughs> anger <clears> that <throat> she tries to hold in place. And it's, it's kind of like she's telling a story with her face. Oh, I'm not bothered by this. Oh, look at them. As she leans forward <laughs> and her eyes squint deep against the light. <gasps> This is the most she's looked like meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just eyes and the ears like the vibrating. Ears, like, <laughs> vibrating. <laughs> yes. Down below decks, Leopold. <clears throat> Got a cup of tea and you've been chatting away with Nils for a while, explaining the depths of the good old Geistbach and explaining what's what. And in between, the line from, well, you're just reading directly from the book. You slipped a completely different sentence. Nels is sitting there, because you didn't even notice it to begin with. And he queries it. Um, don't mind me asking. Well, if you don't mind me asking, if you, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Do you, really think Sigmar, do you really think Sigmar would have murdered them? <laughs> murdered him? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all right. Uh, no, I must no, have no, heard no, you no, no, Come on, out with it. Murdered him? Uh, it, 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 well, it's just that I thought you said that... Uh, um, and 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 and, and lo, uh, 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 Sigma did murder them with bloody knives, born of wicked Cain. Did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> when did I say that? Well, just right at this moment, actually. If you don't buy me, uh, uh, you just sort of said it. Would you right in the middle? I, I, I thought it was a. I, I, I thought it was a strange thing to say in the middle because you were and you were saying and then lo. <clears throat> Azazel did come from the sky, and then Stigma went and murdered the the Ulrichs, the, 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 the blades of uh, 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 Cain and stuff, and and then uh, 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 it, it came down into some sort of temptation thing, and it didn't make no no sense if I'm honest. Ulrichs, I, I I think you said that. Maybe I heard it wrong. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. It's very odd. It, can I test if this tickles any theological stuff he's aware? Of? <laughs> I was wonder, I wonder whether that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Lord theology. Uh, four successes. Well, it's an advanced skill, isn't it? So two successes. Two successes. You know what? What? You think you might be a seer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You think you might sometimes just pronounce things yeah. without without seeing them yourself. It may be divine revelation. That's sort of the, the point I was getting at was to take on my memory of something historic in the books. I mean, it's not anything that's in there. So you think it must have come what about externally. Andy? To oh. use a new skill, <gasps> my lore ancient empire. Oh! I'm aware of a story from Sigmar's time of him killing Oregon. Roll it! Um, are we chill? Um, yo, no. no very You're hard. fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, do you have advantage? Yes, yes. we have time to. Yes. Um, Six successes. <laughs> well, so two. Uh, one success. One success. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm not that good at it. If you didn't know, our advanced skills, you can't more, score more successes in a roll than you have the tens number and advances in that skill. Um, so if you've only got ten advances in a skill, and you're attempting to do some doctoring, for example, um, on an advanced skill, the most successes you'll get is one. You're really clever, and you might have a really good chance of passing, you just don't know that much. So the more advances you take, the better you are at advanced skills. 
But it's only the advanced skills, not the basics. And, and heal is a basic skill. And heal, for example, yeah. is a basic skill. Fine, that's okay. Indeed. For a second, I'm channeling a and language magic. Are Correct. Also basic. And you're totally fine. And and if it's something you get to add to your career, that makes it basic. And that counts as a basic career if it's added on through one of your talents. Excellent. Mm. No Correct. single success bodlery for me. <laughs> 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 good to know. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so delighted by the bodlery uh, of this stream in general. So uh, he just looks at you a bit confused um, and, and almost afraid to have brought it up. So, so nothing from ancient. I uh, know nothing. Maybe it's a prophecy. Well, yeah, exactly. One wants to confirm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one eliminates the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh dear. <laughs> get your hammer. Well, no, apparently we need to get a hammer. Um, yeah. Go hard. Hello. Uh, do yourself um, a heraldry test. Uh, yep, I do have that still. All right, 101. Two big fail. Six successes. How many advances you've got? Yeah, just ten. Man. So one, just one success. One success. <laughs> <laughs> He's so clever. This isn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> You need more advances. Um, as uh, you're looking out, and yeah, over there, you can see that the um, flags of, you've seen them before, Delberts, they're flying, which means the Duke is in residence. Ha! You know, the Duke's here. You're pretty sure you met him maybe down in Del Bren, pre-stream episodes. Yeah. No, this is Del Bear. This is, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yes. We met Del Bear's in Del Bren. Yeah. Now we have travelled to Del Bear's. We thought Del we were in Del Bear's. But now we men. are in Del Bear's. Yeah, because we were right. heading for Del yes. when we went to yes. Del Bren because of that sign. Who's on first? <laughs> uh, no, he's a friend. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I, was, uh, I yeah. believe, well, there's 20 men to call upon there. He did. As you um, squint out and uh, you are accompanied with your squinting by the saw, the snore of your lobster. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I'll just give him a little, little sort of gentle nudge with the foot. foot. And, sure. and foot eye sure. opens up. No, I'm more of a nudger. As he goes. Foot nudger. Yeah. Oh, my hands. Fucking. Ah! Good. <laughs> Do you mean? Do you mean oh. as in the god or I... your your mother's mother? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah. Anyways, it's that. Right. I will take his hand. <laughs> Just shaking. I opens up and he goes. What the fuck are you doing? I don't really know. I just you were sort of waving I'll, and it I'll, was. I was waving for your servant. You know the pump one. Oh, uh, dumping. Uh, for some water. Right. I need some fucking parched. Sure. Well, it's quite likely you're dehydrated. You know, her special water. Uh, knowing what's been going on, I don't know if. <laughs> D- dumpling. <laughs> dumpling. <laughs> Um, the door opens up and eagerly she sweats her way over to you. Um, she is sweats <laughs> slop. Hello, good to All see right. you. All right, where's Yinny? Oh, you're awake. I'm so glad to see you're awake. Would you like to come back in the kitchen and fuck? <laughs> As, uh, he goes, I, I need some cream yes. for my face. Good, give him some cream. And my chest. <laughs> he says, my chest and Ah, I think I might have burnt myself. No, yeah, you have quite. He says, "Oh, oh, don't worry. I'll rub you out with butter. It'll be fine. We'll cook you up a treat. Come on." All right, hey, hey, hey. Oh, butter, you see? Well, there might be something in that. <laughs> he says, as the pair of them go off, dumpling, yeah. something with B- some sort bacon of bacon fat. <laughs> the, the idea of like antiseptic. Is that a thing now? Um, not really, no. All right, don't worry about it. Just that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fine. Butter will do. Um, I mean, what that just I'll cook away. Quickly. Yeah, we'll call it. <laughs> but if he rubs himself in butter, one, he will absolutely reek. And two, will he not just cook in the sun? Like a piece of bacon? I mean, so it's fair to come... say that Dumpling's eyes could not look more large and excited by <laughs> such language as she takes him in oh, to the um, guy, looks out, looks up at you, 
Uh-oh. <laughs> and closes the door. We all remember what Dumpling was cooking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes, but what? also... Looks like meat's back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to see him go in a batter, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Why is there so many Ulricans here? Look at them all. Look at all their shiny, bloody armour. We're, we're, we're near midnight. No, they're all off their horses, stomping around the docks. Look, look, <laughs> look, Ulric. Okay. No, Elric. Elric, <laughs> that's your name. Ulric. <laughs> he snuck in. I don't know why I say this as a friend. Get over it. Boss <laughs> rich. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really polishing that glass house, right? <laughs> that was Bernie Real just, sparkle that on was those Bernie windows. Just passing behind the <laughs> fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> just no rope in hand. <laughs> I perform mine. I shan't. Um, goes back to looking at them. <laughs> you may put back a uh, shirt on so that their tattoo is invisible anymore, and then she'll be like, "Are they, are they watching us?" Well, Elsa, get back to the butt. You're doing it again. Oh fuck! Now you got me angry. I mean, Birdie, blooming hell, Birdie, go get back. Stop walking past him. I know you fancy him. Just stop it. Fuck off. <laughs> We've reached our angsty phase. <laughs> no, no, they are stomping round the docks and the town off their horses in this blistering heat. Who knows what they're doing? It's unnatural. It's get the top sail horses? up further, will ya? It's up There's almost horses. no wind. Come on, get up there. Fine. Do you remember the name of the road? Sailing care. Oh. <laughs> it's Bob. The road is Bob. <laughs> Ricky. I just need to look at my maths. There might not be got too many things going on here. Sailing test. Do, do, do. No. Well, I'm going to use a fortune point. Um, unless, I mean, are you? Unless she's got advantage. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. Unless, yeah. unless she's got advantage. I uh, know you don't have advantage put on spot. No. I'm going to use a fortune point. Yeah, I'll quite right. Point of principle. Even what? worse. <laughs> no, damn. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah. Andy's favourite moment. That's, no, that's even worse. So I'm just going to go, I don't care what it's called. I'm just doing what you're telling me to do. She just looks at you. Fucking hell. Trim it, will ya? Blooming hell. Why would you ask Why that am I even... cut a sail? Blooming hell. <clears throat> she looks over. Yeah. It says, oh, I'm in a wife. Can you see which one's uh, waving us over? One of them will have a small flag. It'll be red and yellow. Um, I will check. Yeah, it's that one right over there. <laughs> it's that one. Points in the direction. Right. Fair enough. <clears throat> As the foot <laughs> shover makes its way over there, it's top sail taking almost what little wind there is. Um, one of the great joys of the barge that you have is it has a particularly tall mast. And that top sail, even in what appears to be almost dead conditions, is enough to move the barge under almost any weather. Unless, of course, it's completely still. Uh, as it gently, slowly moves over there. And there are, indeed, Knights of the White Wolf on the very jetty you're making your way over to. Three of them. And in the distance, just as your barge is coming up, you can hear how. Almost mournful. Uh, oh, that's so more theology for anyone who has it. Uh, sounds like home. Well, one of them. Uh, two successes. Mm. Two successes, yeah. Then that's uh, Howls of Mourning. Mm. Mourning. Um, white wolves oh, don't no. get involved with things. They just don't. Oh. Oh, some white wolves haven't just been killed by a sigmarite. <laughs> are you going below deck? With daggers, do you think? <laughs> well, I, I, I think I, mm. I think you currently are. I think I currently yeah, am below deck. You're staying but... below deck. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. Yeah. How f- how far out are we from the shore? Um, We're very slowly making our way there. We're not that far. It's only about 40 yards, but the barge isn't moving quickly. It's also moving slightly against the current. I'll, I'll just stay down. I'll just stay down. <laughs> But Hilda, um, she says, yeah, what? Well, if we were going to see the Duke, is there a different place we would go? Well, I don't know. Where does he live? Mm, good question. Maybe Garhart will know. Yeah, Garhart. Apparently there's a Duke here. Do you know where he lives? Do you know everyone? 
Uh, well, I mean, if I want to know everybody, it would really be quite a feat. But no, I do know where he lives, yes. Well, where, where does he live? Over there. <laughs> to his house. Where? Where? <laughs> well, you see the flag? Uh, no. I'll look one. for the flag. I'll describe the flag. <clears throat> um, I have Lord Heraldry now. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> roll it? Would you like to do the Lord Heraldry <laughs> test? <laughs> you... Um, zero, zero. <laughs> 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 What are we getting? I'm going to use a fortune You point. pointed at the docking flag again. <laughs> it's there. Right there. Um, yeah. Laura heraldry. Uh, that's six successes, but only one, because I've only got Because you're, you're not so hot at heraldry. <gasps> oh, yes, off there in the distance, you can see the yeah, slight luff, left flap, three running wolves. Um, that is Del Burt. Yep, three running wolves. Um, they're black, sitting in a white field. Uh, does it look like it's got its own private jetty? <clears throat> no. Um, oh. And you can see the word sitting on the bottom, town hall. So you're not sure he'd live there. Why do, uh, why do um, you want to know? That's the town hall. Yeah, all right. Well, that's one flag. That's not where he lives. Am I, well, you said that's where he lives. It's not where I, he lives. Mm, you're looking at the wrong flag. He's blushing slightly. Uh, no, oh. absolutely not. <laughs> He's blushing slightly. <laughs> you see, in high society, one is, oh, he's talking is, his known, way one is known to uh, live where they work. So really, he technically is there, which is where technically If he you lives. knew anything about the high society of Del Bears, you'd know he does no work. Yeah, he has it's con- Del Berts. Del Berts. You said it wrong. He has contracted <laughs> out that work for a mighty fee to the common folk of this town. Oh, yes, no, he very much has, hasn't he? Yes. Yep, got about that. That and is a true thing. And you're fighting again. <laughs> <laughs> is, is the heat getting to you? It's like, why, why is everyone at each other? No, it's I'm strange. Not at him. I just... If I was at him, you'd know about it. Oh, I, I it's, it's quite clear that Dumpling <laughs> is at it. <laughs> is at <laughs> Sig. Yep, yep, yep. You see better about the yep, 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 yep. Fully basting. Um, <laughs> and she's calling out the butter. Oh no! She's calling out the butter. The butter, the butter. She calls. Oh right, I see. Okay, <laughs> she's not just like fully salted. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we can eat butter on this barge every, every day. day. <laughs> I'd hate to have a cute hearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having a cute scent smell. I'm sorry, Elric. I did not mean to get tetchy with you. You do not deserve it. No, I just... I, I... It's fine. I just feel stupid at heart. Well, it's fine. A call happens. comes out from the jetty. <clears throat> Which one of you says is barge master? It will look to Butter. <laughs> Clotilda sticks her head out and says... Yeah, that's me. Barge mistress. <laughs> oh, all right. Says, sorry about that, barge mistress. Says, you got any Sigmarites aboard? She says, I don't know. <laughs> she says, what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. She says, I, I, I don't talk to them. She says, the people won't work here and whatnot. Maybe. Oh, and why don't you talk to them all? Eh? She says, I mean, really, eh? Folds his arms, the clack of his metal armor as he goes, All right. He says, Just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm here to warn them that they probably best don't want to come out on board. Or, uh, or would you call it when you disem- disembark? Probably best not disembark. <laughs> he says, It's just there's been trouble and uh, tensions are high and there's a lot of children out and they're, uh, they're looking for blood. What? He says, Children. Oh, Ulrich. Other men away, jumps down. Daddy's ears, prick up. <laughs> prick, oh, prick. Says, they done blockaded river. Oh. I don't know what you mean. Um, so what you're gonna tell we've got to speak to some children to get through the blockade, because we got business up Midnight Way. She says, So uh you know, can't you go night them or something? <laughs> she nods. No, it's not my problem. Yes, that's your problem. You want to talk to... Anyway, you've been warned. Come on, let's go. And the pair of them stomp off. Bloody women. Bloody women. Says the other one as they go off. So what is the child of Ulrich? Bloody night. What, children of Ulrich are knights too? I don't know. I've never heard of them before. 
I don't come from this sort of part of town. You know. You already need a role, you know. <laughs> but you're also below decks. <laughs> <laughs> like it like it's <laughs> so you know, you know, got Lower Middenland, Middenheim, uh Lower Ulrich, any of those will do. Uh yeah. So. Lower of the Empire. But at the moment, apparently, I'm so pissed off with Eric, I can't remember anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> your brain is dribbling from your ears because of the heat. <laughs> Retired dice, nice <laughs> What about um, Law Warfare? Uh, yes. Yeah, no. Title. Yeah. Um, as uh, the barge pops itself in and you start tying her up. Lucas! He's a Midlander, right? Uh, well... Yes, that is normal. Lucas, Lucas comes out, um, <laughs> adjusts his eye patch, um, and says, um, "Yes, um, what? By you? the gods, opening up that hatch is like opening a furnace. What's that noise? The what? Butter? Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, How do you know the sound of butter, Lucas? <laughs> yeah. Why is he calling for the butter? Ah, oh, Lucas. Maybe you should take What are the children? Should someone fetch her the butter? Yes, you should. You, you should. <laughs> yeah. no, stop it. No, no, Lucas, don't do it. Um, <laughs> oh, no. It's, oh. Yes, yes, it's oh, that he, again. He, yes, oh. yes, it's that. It's that again. Lucas, <laughs> what are the children of Ulrich? Children of Alex, so you don't want to mess with them. Uh, they normally live in very small bands. They believe they're directly related to the god. The god Ulrich, who just sort of wanders around and apparently just sows his seed wherever he wishes amongst various mortal women that they lay out for him. Yeah, Ulrich says, High Priest. I've been to that cave. Yeah, it's quite. Weird. You, you what now? The oh. cave. What cave? No. Oh. Apparently the sex cave where they make <laughs> children of all. You've been to a cave that is related to these children. Well, they're not moving in small paths. They're blockading the river. What? Apparently. Says, no, 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 they move. No, no, I don't think you quite understand what I said. I'll try it again. Um, <laughs> um, they move in very small packs. They are disorganized and they are very much not uh, a part of the cult of Ulrich. And the cult of Ulrich, um, because it doesn't sanction their actions very much puts them down, you know? Well, a knight of the White Wolf just told us that they're blockading the river. Ah, right, I understand. Come from a knight of the White Wolf. Is she upset? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Bit. You right. heard! I no, understand. He said. No, no, to, to no, be fair. Of course, Mistress Alamein and White, <laughs> terrible times. I fully <laughs> understand. I, I, I see why you called me. That is quite the racket. I think, yes, Um, I think it probably wise I retired. Tell yes, him. of course. Um, As she... Not him. He goes. Mm. Thank, thank you, Lucas. Very good. Very Quiet. good. Yep. And then looks over at the galley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm catching mm. a bit of slack at the moment, you know, because of. Um, uh. Do you want me to see to him? Uh, <laughs> um, I could comfort him. Uh, d- just a clarification question: <laughs> When you say see to him, do you mean go and talk to him and sort of help him get through it, or do you mean yes. um, call your relations? <laughs> well, how are they different? <laughs> right. Howard's going to do a little channel test to try and drive <laughs> the tray away from his companions. I mean, how would you comfort someone? Swirl and roll. Just, you know, uh, chat about uh, things. Yes. Bird, Birdie would That's like, it. if she gets a chance, to head below decks just to warn Father Lou. Bop, 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 bop. Wise. Someone's come to your door. A birdie. Ah. Uh, you might, wolves, open up. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to lay off the whole Sigmarite nonsense. Yeah, I, I, children of Ulrich, right? Yeah. I better go brush my hair. And, um, I shouldn't worry. Children of Ulrich move in very small packs. They raided the river. <laughs> I doubt it was the children of Ulrich. Well, the Knight of the White Wolf said it was. Uh, if, if that was the case, I think the Knights would have probably dealt with it by now. I mean, the rat scallions. I mean, to to use um, somewhat more common vernacular, they're scum. They're actual scum. They are, they're, they're actually the worst. They, they were look, never look, organized look, to have more than one boat. Look, look, I know who they are. Remember, I, I lived up here. Oh, right, yes. I <laughs> um, well, well, you know yourself, the chances of them having a single ship would be impossible. We, we live in tumultuous times. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps. It's almost as if, you know, there are dark forces arrayed against us that are trying to tear the Empire apart. He rolls his eyes. Yes, but a somewhat passive-aggressive <laughs> I can hear your eyes rolling there. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear them. I can... 
hear them moving in the sockets. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, says Nils. I mean, it's very rude. He can't see you. Yeah, a, I think he'll do fine, thank you very much, young master. Uh, please, no. Right. <laughs> but children of Olnick, says Lucas. Uh, it's tricky. It's become a fox. <laughs> this, that, is, uh, this is what it took. He's not played Beastman twice, but no. <laughs> he's probably just going to to rack and ruin. <laughs> I mean, this heat is intolerable. The noise is coming from. I mean, what does. <laughs> what, what does. What does Garhart think he's doing with this? I mean, do, do we call him a man? <laughs> well, I mean, he is. Do right. you hear the way he swears all the time? Bloody Nordlanders, they are the worst. They are actually the worst. I mean, we would be better if we just got rid of him. I mean, but politely, of course. Um, we, we could ask him. Oh, you, 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 you do understand the importance of him having proper tuition. Yeah. Yeah, so perhaps he could get tuition from Elric or something. Somebody at least we trust. Doesn't work that Someone way. who's reputable. This doesn't, man looks about as reputable as... Doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. I mean, who even is he? <laughs> and, I mean... But, what? <laughs> I am most disappointed with this entire affair, and I think it should be shut down immediately. Excuse me, he says. I have some notes to make in a medical text. <laughs> Is he making you do his homework? <laughs> he doesn't do homework anymore, he's a doctor. But there's certain parts that he wasn't sure about, so I'll be making notes for him. So he's making you do his homework. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his advisor, I need to advise. And He's only got one mind, and he can only read so much at once. And sometimes he reads so quickly, he doesn't take in everything. We had a discussion about it just the other day, how he'd read the entire book, and then realised he had to read the entire book again. <laughs> he shrugs. It happens sometimes. It's good so, thing he likes reading. <laughs> so, do I have your blessing to cheer him up? Uh, I'm sure. He's, he's his Excellent. own man. It, uh, I, well, we've had a conversation recently, and um, come to a more um, sort of give and take relationship in the way that we operate. So, um, you know, he Are will you cheering him up? Offer... <laughs> <laughs> you mean he's looking delighted at the side? <laughs> Look at his face. Sorry, I was having a conversation then. Uh, good God. Uh, gods. Um, the boss did not. <laughs> no, no, just, so... I realised and, and probably door quite opens. too late. Okay. I have returned! <laughs> He says, bright red and glistening <laughs> and naked, except for a big pale patch. Oh. As he looks out, I think I reek of butter. <laughs> he says as he comes oh. out, I'm going for a dip. As he looks over, oh, we've arrived at Delbert's. Shithole. As he walks over. About a lesson? A lesson at some point? He looks at you. Oh, no, my pal's here. He's going to have to see you first. Yeah, okay. I told you. No, You've got to talk to my pal. Yes, um, as he goes over. Watch this. No. And he belly flops. <laughs> Bad, <laughs> splash. Um, oh. As he swims out. Oh, you fucker! Oh, 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 oh. It doesn't come off. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, oh. As he rolls around in the water. Do we leave him for a bit? He knows what he's doing. If, if you wish, if you think it'll help, you can ch ch uh, cheer up Lu Lucas. Excellent. Quiet. I shall cheer him up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly. He's in the room next to you. Yes. He can come to my room. Fine. Perfect. Still, quietly. <laughs> no, no. Quietly! Still! <laughs> he knows the way. It's just the one next to the other one. Greta um, comes up on deck. Um, oh my, it's really warm. Um, she says as she puts her hand out and uh, says, Oh right, so we've arrived. Has anyone asked for our bill of lading yet? Cats. No, because there's trouble in Delbert's. There's Ulricans out all over the place. Sigmarites are wanted. The children of Ulric are blockading the river. The children of Ulric? Yes. He says where? Up, up there. Looks over. That's a lot of, I mean, barges. Mm. A bit ramshackle. <coughs> children of Ulric? I wouldn't like to face them. So they could be normally bribed. That can't seem to be much of a problem. Unless, of course, oh no, they really don't like. I suggest that we shave his head and put him in a skirt. <laughs> Maybe not a skirt, but most certainly something different. You're talking about Leopold? Um, yes. Let's do that. <laughs> 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 he can hear you, you know. <laughs> I know. Try it, my lord. <laughs> well, 
Yes, I, I think I can hear grumbling from below. Um, I think I think there was a grumbling approval. Uh, very, so very difficult to tell. Do you think he's willing to go in disguise? No, probably. You may. You can. You're pretty good with the sort of. You know. Sure. I mean, you can just get him a hat or something. In this heat. Is that it? <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's not shaving him. The oh. hammer robes on the Sigmarite devices all over him. Hat like ah. a crudely <laughs> drawn wolf. Hey. <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> <clears throat> um. <clears throat> um, so, uh, um, I suggest I volunteer you to speak to him about it. You're his friend, after all. Right, yes, no, very good. Um, he obviously values your opinion in all things. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's fine. No, I understand. <laughs> no, but seriously, he's actually your friend. <laughs> yes, no, I, I get it. Good, good, good. Um, um, and I think that it would be wise for him to perhaps uh, don different desire. Fair, excellent. And leave I, his behind. Could you do me a favour? Oh, yeah, um, check in, probably give it about five minutes, but check in with <laughs> uh, Dumpling. I've given her a list of things, um, and Does obviously you tend to look after the purse strings. It stinks in the galley. It, yes, it's quite... It's so sweaty. And quite she's rancid. Got, no, it's, it's not really rancid. It, it, it smells... It will be now. It smells like <laughs> gravy. <laughs> it's sort of beefy. Beefy gravy. It's sort of beefy. I mean, don't you think that when she passes by, she smells sort of beefy? I mean... I mean, I, I'll admit, last night, um, when I was uh, having a little walk around, she passed by behind, and I thought, oh, I could really do with a nice stew. Turned around. And it was just her. <laughs> I was like, that's her natural sweat fragrance. <laughs> oh, just you. I don't know what I think about this. I felt most uncomfortable, went down and complained to Alameda wife for a good half hour about it. Because she made me hungry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's <laughs> Strange. Um, but yeah. at least check in for me, if you would be so kind. She has a list, uh, and it will all be sort of, you know, and obviously you look after the purse strings. Oh, the... you mean for food? Yes. Right. Very much so. Yes, I can do that. She'll come out eventually. Good. <clears throat> um, if anyone uh, looks around, but Tilda, if anyone comes asking for the Bill of Laden, send them to me, please. Thank you. I also, yeah, all right, I'm just going to stay here till someone comes, because someone's going to come. We've got fees to pay for the docky. Right. She looks down. No one's coming down. We're wrapped up. They should have been here by now. I, well, something odd is going on in this town. Oh, hmm. You can see a curl of smoke rising up in the distance on this hot summer's day. I think the town is on fire. Or they're burning someone. Or they're, someone is on fire. Right, well, if that's the case, you're good at seeing, you're good at fire. Um, <laughs> you're, well, you're uh, naturally alluring to the Oricans, we know this, obviously. You want to use me as bait? No, 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 <laughs> not bait. I want to use you as a distraction. Which is like bait, but different. <laughs> I want to put you next to the father. Draw the draw the eye, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, go ahead. Yes? You're doing that thing you do where you forgot that you had a task right in front of you. No, 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 I know. I'm, I'm about to go and do the rest of it. If if I turn up with a half-baked plan, he'll say, you've got a half-baked plan, I won't do anything I say. So I need to go down with a plan, and then, you know. Uh, you may, if you do I agree, me. actually. Yeah, it's good. She, yeah. she sits down. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go get changed, but mm -hmm, sure. Oh, you can <coughs> nip in. Um, this is Middenland. I suggest covering your legs. They're quite traditional here. Even oh, for yeah, me. No, I, uh... um, even for you, I'm sorry to say. <sighs> they like long skirts, form fitting straight to the ground. They like the neck to be covered. Um, and if you're meeting any nobles, I recommend some sort of armour because they can be a bit grabby. Mm, yeah. Birdie's just going to put all her kit on. I used to get a court. They used to joke. They they you could put little like um sticky outfits on on the chest area, so they'd get stuck. You know, just a, just a prank, prank, small pranks. Um, <laughs> pointy nipples. Um, a friend, of, a friend of mine actually uh, uh, lined their entire corset with um well effectively nails. Um and um yeah that's the, sort the of thing. thing they do you see when they the, the, the gentlemen when they um, meet other gentlemen in Midland they're all very proper and they're all very. <clears throat> Um, but when they meet the women, they're all very left hand shake and hand on the bloody, but just like that, bloody barbarians. That's what they are up here. Is it? Is it um, barbarians? Well, it, uh, or is it more sort of cultural? It's yeah. There's now you sound like my father. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> what? <coughs> now you sound like my father. Exactly the sort of thing you would say. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get a little pulp. <laughs> um, would we have that time? That's off, didn't it? <laughs> would we have some time to like buy appropriate clothing before 
setting up because we had like we knew we were going to Middenheim. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fair. If you want to get yourself um, a nice Midlander dress, they're so. almost classic medieval style dresses. Um, and they are um, quite covering and not really suitable for the evening. Um, but there are lighter versions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she'll ask Jiro to help her with the laces and the uh, weave. <laughs> so, changing, changing, down seat, father. You are prepping to go? Waiting to leave the boat, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. I'll just, before I change, I'll just, Ellen and wife will just look and see if she can tell more about that smoke rising or if it's just, that's okay. all she can I see. got a cute sense of smell. I got a cute sense, sorry. I have a cute sense of smell. She's got a cute sense of smell. Give me three attempts, attempts, please. That's bad because it suggests it's smell. Give me blush. Then you'd know that smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad. No, that's a fail. Stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate my dice. <laughs> um, definitely some fire on the wind. However, what does your elf nose see? <laughs> yeah, nothing. Um, it, there's definitely the yeah, smell. Can the yeah, you, you can see the smoke and the smells on the wind, but the wind's going in the wrong direction. <gasps> so with that acute sense, you're not going to be picking anything else up. Um, taking any special precautions, grabbing anything in particular as you make your way out? No, just his usual kit, but he does have one new thing that he carries. Tell me the new thing! Uh, opposite his scabbarded sword on his right hip, he is now carrying a small kind of forge hammer. Ooh. Oh. Like a claw hammer sort of thing. A little bit bigger. Mm. Yeah. Sounds Red like a said, Sigmarite to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> might, so Sigmar sucks on it. Uh, you, you might not want But it, to... he would feel it's quite comfortable. It's not clearly... Is it a work hammer? Yeah. It looks yeah. like a... It's a tool. Someone carries his tools. I, I would recommend <coughs> if you're trying to... Well, give it at least a modicum of incognito. <laughs> why risk it? Fine, right. I mean, one benefit. Uh, up north, they don't care too much about college wizards. They don't really... Have the same level of discrimination that you might find in the south, outside of Valdorf, at least. <clears throat> I, I recommend this at least. If you, if you want to risk it, if there are children of Valdorf. Children of Valdorf. Seems most unlikely. But <laughs> taking any special precautions? Weapons, all of them. Excellent. Um, and how about yourself? Uh, yeah, she'll. Um, she has a proper dress, but she's got um, links of like fabric to tie them up so she can be more nimble uh, and her weapons and stuff probably hidden away <coughs> under the skirts and stuff. A few throwing knives scattered about her person. Okay, I'm a knife. A knives. dagger, <laughs> a sword, <laughs> a bow. <laughs> Well, that's going to be difficult to hide. <laughs> we can't, they're all we're coming, aren't we? We're talking about the walk and armory <laughs> over here. Yeah, but all reckons like that. You arrive at <laughs> the good father's chamber. Do we have doors yet? Have we, have we uh, yeah, they've all got yeah, doors, yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. They I thought doors were in. I thought we had beads. For a while. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> that's me saying it. I'm not knocking. <laughs> <laughs> Niels will open the door. Oh, yeah, oh right, said, come, okay. Come, come. <laughs> Fine. Uh, all right, hello, Niels. Um, he goes, uh, right. Blue pulled and Niels are already have changed and are not in the rooms. Oh, okay. See that you're sorted. Good yeah. start. I heard everything. <laughs> what? I heard everything. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I know. <laughs> it's, it's, I just assume that you sort of, I don't know. So. I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely sure I should even go, though. I'm not sure. Where are we going? Look, trust me, uh, from somebody who's hidden many, many times on this boat while other people are out <laughs> doing things, um, never never actually plays out in a, in a good way. It's actually better usually being off the boat, doing the thing, whatever it's doing. But, but, but what, what are we... <coughs> what are we doing? Yeah. That's a good question, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Like you're I think all, we're all just getting ready. You're, you're all getting ready to, to do what? It, it, felt, it just felt good and proactive. Yeah. Um, just, it, in terms of, you know... Half baked plans. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just a sweet half baked. It doesn't even have a goal, really, my lord. I mean, as plans go, it's raw. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. I'll the like eggs are still in the shell. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I'll I'll tell you where we're at. I'll tell you where we're at. Um, we know we have an ally in the city. In uh, Del. Oh, you've given me the name of somebody that sounds like another place. Just, say the, real bad. just say the Duke. The Duke. The <laughs> Duke. I thought. I thought. I don't know. I'd said it was commoners, and it wasn't the Duke. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, but what does Adam and White know? Let's uh, be honest. The flags are flying, that means he is yeah. in residence. He is here. Yes. He might not be there, but he'll be in his residence. Yes, so, um, shows what you know. He is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Good stuff>. Um, <laughs> how's, how's the lad getting along? Himself. It's the lad right there. <laughs> <laughs> These rooms are not very big. Uh, no. He's standing. He's standing here. I'm yeah. looking down at you. <laughs> but you're a noble, like you're yeah, asking you're yourself. Like, right, just and... look a little bit. Like, what are you even talking about? Nils, how's it going? All right. All right. So many words. All right. Um. All, all right, my, my lord. Very good. Very good. Ah, uh, doctor, my lord. Character building. Canon. My lord is fine. Yours, that's that's all. It's all right. I'm just messing Can Alan and wife hear this? Oh yeah. It. Why, Bob? Grant, you'd have to go down. She's going down. <laughs> you know their human ears won't cope. It would it. be my lord, doctor. Yes, I know what it would be. However, I could get him saying something really stupid, <laughs> wouldn't I? He would not know. That would reflect badly upon you, yes. my lord. Me. Doctor, <laughs> go upstairs. I'm not reflect that. Look, I'm just, I'm just. Stand up straight, Nils. <laughs> Poor kid. What's mine of his shit around? <laughs> he slouches when you're not looking. I know. Well, it's bad I, for. I see everything. <laughs> Not when you're asleep! Goes upstairs. Are you Santa? I know, she's really she's, she's on edge. Really she's really on edge. Today, isn't she? um, I'm hoping that Lucas can, you know, sort her out a bit later, basically. Um, she thinks she's comforting him, but I'm actually thinking that he's probably going to, you know. She can probably hear you saying that. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, hello, Lucas. <laughs> uh, I apologise for being. <coughs> Right in my room, um, <laughs> um, overhearing. It's a little room. bit away, though, right? It's um, not far. It is almost all of three feet, master. Um, and oh god, I'm doing it again. I'll call you master. I always it's call fine. you master don't whenever worry. I'm somewhat upset. Um, I, I think I will be fine, and I don't require any further attention to be thrown in my direction from anyone. Thank you. Oh right. Well, look, I, I didn't say. I actually said. Um, Check in on, and uh, you know it was assumed. Uh, it's fine. Um, look, uh, are we going somewhere? We are. Would, would you like to come? You don't have to. <laughs> well, we're, we're yet <laughs> yet to work out exactly where no, we're going. We know where we're going. We're going no, to no. find the Duke of Delbert. Thank you, Delbert. <laughs> should we? Should we Delbert? If um, um, the town is somewhat fractious, then should we not perhaps? Have a smaller party, find out where we're going before we all go, rather than um, wandering Delbert's the streets. Delbert's lives out in uh, Lake Delm. Lovely. Boom. Um, uh, although they have a different name for it up here. Is I don't know lake? what they call it. It's a large lake um, where apparently uh, the Delb or the god Delb lives himself. Um, We've all had experience. It with, eats with people. The river Delb. Oh, you walked, mm. it, when yeah. you were last here, you walked around the entirety of the lake. <clears throat> Um, mm. From stone circle to stone circle. And the real is the 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 festival <laughs> with the procession. No, 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 no. When he was here himself, yeah. he was by himself, but, and it was. Um, we all sat through a festival in Delbren. Yes. In Delbren, yeah. where they did a procession. You all keep saying, Again, a pre street you party. All, <laughs> but I was not here. <laughs> Back Man. in the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> the OG party. <laughs> and was it not really creepy, though? Like, was the. Was yeah, we got a really creepy story they about They knocked the us on the head and then they put us oh, in no, the pit. No, before that. Before we were kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the god himself was a, a problem, wasn't he? It was a, a um, an appeasement yeah. so, sort of uh, festival. Um, he lives out overlooking the Delve. He has quite a nice um, manor I'm told. I've never visited, but um, so my father no um, rode past it frequently. And we're nowhere really near it. Oh, we're about, I, I presume, about five miles away. Oh, not, far, okay. not a very long walk. We gotta get out anyway. Well, true. I mean, if, we're, if we're going to be making the walk, I'd suggest leaving perhaps up in maybe in a couple of hours when the sun's set a little. Lucas, did uh, you just mentioned your father rode by a few times? Yeah. Uh, did you grow up around here? Oh uh, no, no, much further to the south. But my father used to make trips up to uh, Midland. Oh right. And then uh, return again. I mostly worked uh, on the land. You get on the walk uh, mm -hmm. Do I get on with him? Yeah. That is a complicated question, my lord. You're, you're talking to me. 
which is why I was being as clear as I could be. It's a complicated question. All right, fair enough. A very complicated question with an uncertain answer. Good. Um, I've, I've, yes, fine. So, do you want um, to come? Uh, if we're going to go and see uh, Galbert, yes, I think that would be um, wise. Very wise. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Uh, so, best, best, best outfits. Armor. Is my armor around? Oh. If you're wearing armor, then perhaps the evening. Yes. And it'll be very warm. You will not make the most presentable figure. Dress very pure will do. Hmm. Yes. And I would suggest the same. Could, do you think? Do we have funds in oh, the party? I, I just too? actually noticed. What are you wearing? Just normal clothes. He's in your hair looks ridiculous. What did you do to it? <laughs> normal. <laughs> normal. <laughs> what, what, what did your man do to your hair? I, I, well, I wanted to hide. It's the, sort of gone party. I wanted to hide <laughs> the tonsils, didn't I? <laughs> but surely you could do something better. Buddy! <laughs> what? He says, have you seen what Nils did to his head? <laughs> oh, oh, one hell of a parting. <laughs> <laughs> it's could... a pair of curtains. Oh. We're hurrying. <laughs> I did say a hat. Yeah, I think we can do a bit better. Oh, uh, I didn't wear my dice rolling. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's the, it's a law of Warhammer. This is the role you'll do really well on. The, the one that doesn't actually. Bloody chain stitches. Well, if she does it really bad, we might just write. Well, Sigma. actually, <laughs> before, beforehand, no, I'm not going to waste a divination <laughs> for this. That would be. Oh god, I should I'm, have wasted I'm, a divination. I'm going to fortune point that ninety six. <laughs> no. You can't pass this. <laughs> no, 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 definitely. You've got advantage here. because you can take oh, your got time. Yes, you can take your time. Six successes, but oh, because it's good. an advanced skill. Okay, so you've got zero success. Okay, so it's um, I tell so you. Is it and tied back yeah. at the back? It now yeah. looks pretty decent. Um, I'd, sh- I'd shag you. You're all right. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> I mean, she, she I mean, a bit off, busy right now, but you know, t- tucking her comb into her, you know, it's sharp splosh, on edge. Splosh. <laughs> I have burnt myself. <laughs> he says, I think I'm a bit burnt. He says, So uh, I know what to do. And he falls on the boat <laughs> face down, <laughs> even it out. All right. Yep, no, fair enough. He says, Tell me when you see my pal. Who is your pal? My pal! This is going to be very difficult. Do we actually know who his pal is? He's always said my pal. I've literally, we tried to, I've tried lessons almost Ah, his day. name's Ricky Reichardt. You know, he's, he's a fucking stoozy. You know what? What the? He's the Duke. That's my pal. He says, you know, he's, <coughs> he's part of my crew, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. Fucking oh. hell. Right, good. He says, wait a minute, I'm going to spread my legs. There oh, we go. Oh, I'm going to get oh, even oh, everywhere. No. The Duke is also Lucas. my pal. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas, we, come we, listen. We, I think we need okay. to go. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go? Yes. I think yes. we should go now. I thought we were, thought we were going to go in, when it was darker. No, it's good to go now. I think we should go now. Oh, he's on deck, though. It's cooler below deck. Oh, so I remember was what it deck, was. I, yeah. I remember <laughs> what it was. It consumes from below. There are often sinkholes appearing mm. around, in and around Delberts. That's what they told us. Oh, the festival one. Mm. <laughs> the, the, the festival that I <laughs> Sinkholes. <laughs> That's a very different story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, I, I see why Look, it it's was, not that far. It's only five well. miles. I see if we, ju- we just walk and we get there. So we don't want to arrive late. He might have already retired. No, it's fine. Um, Could get the carriage or something. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> They're very expensive. I think it's well worth paying. Yeah. How, how are the party coffers? Wow. Well, we're not sure because <laughs> we haven't done any of our side streams. <laughs> sure, um, we've got some money. Actually, give me a moment. There he goes. Someone's quite rich. Some no, some goes back into the cubby, <coughs> pulls out a sack, and starts rummaging through it for coins she recognises. Screwed with duck sounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in there, because of course it's a mix of coinage. You find out about this eventually. Um, are there enough coins in there? Oh, well, there's a lovely moment. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I just <coughs> not sure that one is new or local. Or that one, but this one's good. Yeah, <clears throat> this one got a wolf in it. That surely goes. Oh yeah, is it different money up here? <laughs> money everywhere. Yes. Yeah. 
different parts of the empire. <coughs> they're all um, gold is gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. largely. So, um, the gold but, coins are the smallest ones because mm. they're the heaviest in terms of the silver ones are larger and the gold ones are the biggest. So anything I think we can sell for more money goes back in the bag, but anything that looks like yep, yep. modern tender, I'm going to use. Sounds good. Got yourself a big bag full of coins. Modern tender. <laughs> <laughs> That's not at all suspicious. <clears throat> and this is how our group of glorious heroes finds its way, sweating away on the back of two cabs, because there's several of you making your way there. The question is, who's going? Are you going with Mills, for example? Mills coming along too? Or not? Um, Greta. Yeah, I don't want to leave him on his own just in case. Yeah, Greta will be staying behind, for example. Um, uh, but Hilda will be staying behind. Absolutely no chance. Marguerite. But she's definitely not going. It's far too hot. Yep. Um, she has no I feel desire. more comfortable leaving Greta and the baby if Marguerite stays with mm. me. <clears throat> Sound good? How do you feel? Um, he will not leave you. I was going to say, it would make more sense. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess he's coming. He sits beside you. <coughs> the puppy is coming. <laughs> no, and river stain on the bird. Mm-hmm. 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 I heard him barking out orders earlier. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone's problem. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Del Burt's lives in an exceedingly impressive half-built manner. Work, probably very hot work, is progressing slowly on one of the long wings. This place looks particularly expensive. The large walls around the entirety of the estate are also half built. It's a little bit put in place. <clears throat> As you make your way past the great lake delve, it is not that large. Uh, it's about five miles in total. Difficult to tell how deep it is. <clears throat> Your cabbie, though, he's got something to say about it. <laughs> he's a cabbie. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing. <clears throat> Think you'll find, he says, Think you'll find is the water's cold no matter what time of year. But we don't go in it. We don't go in it. I don't recommend you go in it, is what I'm saying, because sometimes people just fall and they don't come back up. Which is a blessed shame, considering, you know, the weather we have right now wouldn't mind a wee dip. When I were young, when I were young, my pal Harry, he went for a dip. He was fine. Nothing happened at all. So his pal, he decided he'd go for a dip. I don't remember his name. Let's call him Sigma. Says he went for a swim and he never came back. It's just the way it is. Delb's hungry. But, you know, if you feed Delb, it said he'll look after you. If you know what I'm saying. Could I use Lucas's schema talent to ask this taxi schema. driver? Um, um, well, schema is generally used to ask a out of question, question. A, a, an out of character question about politics um, and the situation that um, is currently in place, and you can pick it apart um, in a nice way because of schema. You get to ask the GM a question. Yeah. All right. Lucas schema question. Yes. <laughs> One of two. Uh, what's the deal with the. The situation with the children of Ulrich and how they would have managed to get a reasonable amount of power and not be kicked in the face. I was so going to ask as well as, as we've left Delberts, mm -hmm. is their presence lessening like as we approach? Um, uh, there is none outside Delberts. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. quite. Um, if that's politicky. Yeah, that's Lucas politicky. Um, leans over and oh, says, that. it's really rather a bit shocking, actually. The children of Ulrich don't have any sway at all. I mean, they, they have none. Yet they find themselves in a position where they're not only somehow blockading the river, but the knights are not moving against them. It really only says one thing. They have support, local support. And the knights are not in a position where they can move against. They're not going to move against the local populace. 
they are probably related to half of them. I didn't know if you understand, but the Knights of the White Wolf up here, they are mostly commoners. It's not like in the South. You go down to Visenland, they're almost all noble. But up here, they're all commoners. They're all those who have chosen Ulrich's path, so to speak. Mm. I've been around Alameda life too long. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, um, oh, the, chance, the, the, the chance that this is happening <clears throat> with the cult of Ulrich Sesa is exceedingly low which means that the common man on the street must be deeply supporting them. I wouldn't like to know exactly what they're suppo suppo supporting. Them. It, it, it doesn't look like it. I mean, that suggests that the <clears throat> boats have been given to them by those who would like to see the river blocked for one reason or another. All right. Thank you, Lucas. Good, good, good I insight. So an ulterior motive. Shows the danger of self-governance. Um, didn't say how long <laughs> the blockade <laughs> had been going on for, did they? <clears throat> did we miss that? I don't think they did. Mm, We're in split. Or anything. But if if there's one thing I know, almost every internecine disagreement that we have found recently, there is behind it funding it, inflaming it. It probably doesn't matter who's supporting who. Is, is that the code that we're using now for... <laughs> nice and wide. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. Just <clears throat> to, you know, set it all out there for that sort of conversation. <laughs> Difficult, though, considering we're in two different taxis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we <laughs> well, I must be in yours, then. <laughs> are, are you using battle tongue across the two cabs? <laughs> yeah, you two are in two different <laughs> Or Kazalid. <laughs> yeah. At the manor, <clears throat> there is sitting out front as just a single guard. Um, he has a helmet on and more sweat than he clearly would prefer. His face is bright red, blistering slightly on his nose, um, and he's leaning heavily um, on a halberd as he sees somebody coming up. <gasps> Gets up on his halberd. Yes. Can I do a lore heraldry check? Okay. To see whether the the Duke of Delbert's being a pal of of that guy actually checks out in terms of his family tree. Oh, he actually got twenty-one. Nice one. Good for it. Mm. Yeah. Thirty-six. And how many bounces do you have? Fifteen. So, if they're related, yes. You don't know enough about whether they're related yeah. or not. Sadly, um, not. But they not say it would be physically on their heraldry. Did. So Looks it? up at heraldry. Um, heraldry here, there's nothing glowing at all. Oh, but he might have personal heraldry he may. that's different from his... And it should have a swordfish on it, right? Yeah. What's going on? Is it now? He has an official heraldry. The girl said it. Is that? The girl said it. This must be for riveting viewing. <laughs> <laughs> Join this out there. <laughs> Sorry yeah, about that. Go for a minute. Um... <laughs> this is all I was desperately trying to remember what happened last Six year. Six weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing fine. <clears throat> he gets up um, and waves his halberd slightly and says, You better stop with your cabs. And I would better, this lord's man. And he calls down and says, We got some lords to speak to, Lord. All oh, right. He comes forward. And who should I say is coming to see Lord? And he looks up. Uh, which one of you is uh, my Lord? He singled you out quite clearly. <laughs> right. Well, for, <coughs> correct. There are a few of us, however. But um, yes, you can tell him uh, Gerhardt of House Youngfroyd is here to see him. Right. Thank you. Right. Where's that from, if you don't mind me asking? I've never heard of that no, one No, I do mind you asking. Carry on. Oh, right, right. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, bloody backlanders. I mean, you can't do anything with them. Bloody hot, though, isn't it? As he makes his way off. Crunch, 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 crunch. The cab says, Well, are you getting off here? Or do you want me to stay? How much will it be for you to stay? Depends how long. Bloody. I mean, I'll stay for a couple of shillings. Here! Yeah, no, you want to stay? He said, well, give us a couple of shillings, I'll stay. <laughs> I'll stay as well for a couple of shillings. Oh, hey, yeah. oh well, uh, I'm writing. Yeah, well, well, we'll just stay. 
I mean, if you, if you want us to stay for like, uh, you know, to leave or something, give us another couple of shillings. We'd stay right till then, couldn't we? Oh, we could stay right till then. <laughs> Land safe here. It's not too bad at all. Um, he's building himself a new wall, but there's a far bigger wall about a mile out. Keeps everything out it does. Good to know. That is remarkably cheap. Down on the capital, that would have cost you less. That's why I'm whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Across the carriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately 15 minutes later, he's making his way back and he says, Oh, well, he'll see you. I'll escort you there. <laughs> well, come on. All right. Can't wait all day. It's bloody hot. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Delbert is a man in his late 30s, although his hair is already beginning to turn grey in a few places. His hair is swapped off in that direction and sits almost that far from his head over there. <laughs> it also wonderfully splits in two, giving him a comet upon his head. It is most certainly <laughs> a choice. <laughs> He himself is a man who has clearly led a fine life. He is somewhat rotund around the belly, thick of leg, um, and he uh, holds a walking stick, which he uses as he comes forward. As he goes... <laughs> uh, should I be making you some rooms? He says, uh, well, "It uh, depends. Maybe we'll we'll see how things go. Potentially, yes. Why, Why not? not? Can't hurt to have them. The rooms are somewhat rustic. They're somewhat northern. They like <sighs> their cold walls and their hanging banners and animal heads everywhere. Like every part of their manor is somehow a hunting lodge. <laughs> 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 this isn't a hunting lodge." This is a manor! And quite an impressive one at that. Why would they ruin it so? Paintings of various people that look like they're probably related to him. Interestingly, though, on the way in, his personal heraldry is on display. Mm. And it has running swordfish up the edge. Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh. You wouldn't see it if you just saw the shield itself. Huh. Which is three <laughs> running <laughs> wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. <clears throat> it's at dinner where you're all sitting down at a long table and he is supping away at his wine deep into his second cup you having had a general discussion of your wonders as um, he breaks the thing that has yet to be discussed well of course when you last saw us I was making my way to the capital because of all trouble that was happening in the capital yes. well I decided I'd just return there wasn't a lot of space for Midlanders there. Mm. No. Right. Friends of mine. Someone tried to slip a knife between his ribs. Almost succeeded. I was there for a good two weeks before I thought, no. <clears throat> As they say down there. Well, I think I'll travel north, you know, just to see what it's like. So, so I did. And that was that. <laughs> I hope you had more luck down there. Your family <laughs> troubles. Um, you doesn't travel very far up here, I'll be here anyway. I'm sure over it, so you could, uh, sorry. Well, we're, we're supposed to call it a city now. Over it, city. Right. Uh, no, it should be fine. Um, well, uh, travels. Interesting word. I would say sort of series of events that have got us to this sort of situation. They were both positive and negative. Realistically. Look, um... You're still in trouble down there. Uh, mm, yes. Ish. Uh, that's bad business, if you don't mind me saying. No, you do. It's very much so. Very much so. Um, <laughs> I met your father once. How oh, did you? Yeah, I met your father once. Well, I met him in Rax. <coughs> oh, it was in the Vauxhall, actually. Yes. We, we, we had a good conversation. He had no idea who I was. But when he found out uh, I would run things up here, he wasn't too happy about it, which I'll admit I quite enjoyed rubbing in his face. Because... Um, <laughs> Uh, I invited him out to dinner, and I, and I think it's fair to say it was a dinner that he couldn't so easily afford. And I didn't actually do it to rub his nose in it, um, but he took it that way. So I, I think your father would naturally see me as a 
well, perhaps someone who'd rather not talk to nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it was an all right man, you know, a bit, a bit, you know, a bit, you know, no, a bit, you know. Uh, not entirely sure catching a drift. What do you mean by you know? Up himself. Right. <laughs> um, you know what the light died, Saf. They're all a bit up themselves. They're very self-important. I mean, I, I probably should remind you I am technically a southern noble as far uh, as things uh, go. Well, I, I understand that. Then, yeah, uh, and technically I'm a duke. So True, yep. I don't just outrank you. I am equal rank to him. <coughs> so, uh, depends how it all works nowadays. I think I might actually outrank him, which, which is ridiculous. I well, mean, that whole thing, it makes no sense at all. I don't mm. like it one bit. I don't think necessarily the rank is going to come into the situation based upon, you know, the civil unrest. Right, so I got some questions. Um, I haven't seen you. Uh, I met you up down Delbren Way just early in the year. Mm-hmm. What happened to your eyes? Mm. Also, <laughs> that's good for his question. Your hair. That's, that's a look. I imagine that's to avoid trouble. Yeah. Wise. Thumbs arrived here about two months ago. There's not that many, there's only about 50. There's enough that they may, they may camp outside city. They may camp outside city. I'll say one thing. They're running things well over there. It's a city now, apparently. But they may camp outside city. And uh, they, they got run out of a few places. And uh, then the murder started happening. Orokins. Nah, no son of Oruk would ever do that. <clears throat> and they were up in arms about it all. No, we only had what? About, I mean, how many clerics did we have here at the beginning? Uh, oh, I don't go into the town of city all that often. There must be about 15 of them in total over at Temple. And uh, at that point, there weren't more than maybe about 50 knights. They were mostly just running out into the forest doing some clearing routes. They weren't really campaigning proper. They're, they're old. Old blue company lot, so they're not really all that interested in uh, actually going to the front lines or whatnot. Um, so they're holding that campaign by clearing that forest, to make sure there's no beastmen or anything else in the untoward out there. And uh, then, then they started dying. Here we are. There's only two of them left, and it's fair to say there have been several petitions up here. If there's anything we can do, maybe make <coughs> a petition up uh, to others or send down word to Karaburg. There's a few folk now that want to go send word to Midnarm instead. Well, you know, that's not exactly politic. Midnarm's Midnarm. It's his own little separate beast. If we have any issues, we're meant to go down Karaburg way, ain't we? But Karaburg's very far away. Very far away. And it's so very southern. <clears throat> well, the thing is, you see, they see, they see me and, and they think immediately I must be some form of, you know... Ulrican, because I'm a Middenlander, isn't I? That's what happened when I was down in Capital. They were all quite convinced that I'm Drakvold of blood. Drakvold runs through my veins before Middenland conquered us. I mean, there weren't much of us at that point for history books, say, or whatever. But I'm a Drakvolder of my own art. Although what's happened down Karaburg way almost makes me want to turn to Middenland. At least bloody Todbringers are trying to do something about it. We had Heinrich down here. It's one of his um, one of his kids, one of the Duke's kids. He doesn't like to be called. He likes to be called the Graf. He doesn't like to be called the Grand Duke. <clears throat> but we had him down. Now, he's a bear of a man. Uh, he's a good foot taller than any of you, I reckon. He's big. I mean, he's proper big. I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit here. But I'll admit, when I saw him, I only came up to his nipples. <laughs> <clears throat> we made a joke about it. I mean, he's a, he's a pretty young man. He's a good 10 years younger than me, I guess. Maybe he's, maybe he's not. Maybe it's just his size makes it. I don't know what it is. He looks young anyway. I don't really pay that much attention to midnight politics. And they were making treaties, making suggestions that we could, you know, send attacks north rather than south. Oh, I said it wasn't my business. They could go talk to town council. Sadly, town council can't do anything with that, my say so. <laughs> <laughs> So we 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 had beer, celebrated Ulrich, we had ourselves quite the time, and then he fucked off to go speak to some other duke and some other baron. Yeah. Anyway, so when I was down uh, 
Altdorf way, they treated me like buddy Midlander, like there was fur growing out of me hands. But him, he treated me like buddy Southerner. <laughs> he brought a bloody bottle of wine. <laughs> wine! Well, certainly about a wine a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, you survived. Are you seeking sanctuary at North? Um, Midnight will give it to you. Trust me, they'll yes. give you sanctuary. Yes, that's that's why. why. They're, they're, lo they're looking for, they're looking for a reason. Although, they probably won't be too keen on you. Um, I had word that they're going to pass a degree, <laughs> decree saying Sigma's not a god. <laughs> Aye. They're calling it the Sigmarian heresy, saying that Sigma and his chosen folk are just making stuff up, and they have done ever since, uh, what's his name? That Hellstrom fellow, the first Grand Theogenist. Apparently, he was just a charlatan. That's what they're saying. The whole thing's made up, and they got wizards, lots of wizards, backing them up. College wizards saying, hi, we heard exactly the same when the colleges were founded, and we were told not to say anything to no one. We've got it here in documents. And they got all those documents up there. They're currently petitioning the Grand Duke to try and make that law. When you say they, any key figures? <sighs> key figures. Well, you know, you got the face, don't you? And who's really the one that's whispering in the ear, you know? <laughs> you got those who are standing there in front of everyone, but what's who sitting behind them? I don't know. Right. I, I, I don't know. I know that one of his law lords was uh, attempting to make it. And I know the cult of Ulrich. They're very keen. Our Ulrich. You know about our Ulrich? Law theology. Do you have law theology? <laughs> <laughs> you would have heard of it if you were in a temple of Ulrich. And I, would have mentioned I, I, I would yeah, I, so I'm, I'm aware of Ulrich, but I know that and all the these Empire, it's a um, really common you, piece of knowledge. You'll be yeah. aware we're, of our Ulrich because Alamena White went on about how she was writing a letter of complaint about yeah. the behaviour of his white wolves. Well, it's very northern. He's our Ulrich. I'm just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is this this guy's son or something like that? Because yeah, no. everyone's called Ulrich. Yeah, you know about well. our Ulrich. Um, yeah. Quite literally, me, son of Ulrich. Yeah. Basically, I mean, it's a bit more than that, but son of Ulrich. He's uh, he, he's like Grand Theogenist for Ulrich. Nice fella, Valgear. Dodgy fella, if you ask me. See, you know, for such an honourable lot, they're really an honourable lot, you know, these Ulrichans. But they really do find lots of ways to get around the rules. You know, he's a priest. He's, he's as high a priest as you can possibly get. And the whole point of priests of uh, Ulrich is they're not meant to have kids, are they? So they don't create a rival dynasty to the good old Grand Duke. That's the point of them. That's the old mate. They've got vows of celibacy that were enforced upon them by some previous Grand Duke. He's got like seven children because he did it all when he were a knight. And then he joined the priesthood. Did it purposely. They all do it. All the Valgiers. Someone there's a, there's about 50 of them. Yeah. 50 of them up there up Midnight Way. They're all a mixture of high priests, important figures inside the cult. One of them's down here, rustling up the uh, white wolves in, in the city. Ah, one of them came down. He came down to say hello. Nice guy. Nice fella. He's all right. Who was that? Vulgar. I don't, I don't even remember his first name. Ooh, Emil, maybe. I Is think his name was Emil. Before the children came or after? Oh, he arrived after. Word had clearly spread um, about the murder. So he come down. I mean, we've got about 200 white wolves over there just now. How were they killed, these Oregon? Well, I'll admit I asked them not to give me grisly detail. But it was grisly, physical, apparently. Physical? Magical? Oh, oh, very physical. Mostly hammer blows, I believe. Sounds like Sigmarites. Or somebody who wants to think it's Sigmarites. Easy stitch up, isn't it? You could do a knife wound and then hit it with a hammer. Job done. Hammer a knife into someone. That also, yes. Yeah. Mm. I'll have to ask. So, <laughs> so why are you here? Uh, why, why are you concerned? Oh, here. Well, um, I mean, beyond <clears throat> taking my food. And yes. Uh, 
Taking my rooms. Sigfeeder. Sigfeeder. Feder. Sigfeeder. Sigfeeder. Either either. You know. wrote it down. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And I wrote it down feeder, which is why I wrote it out. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yes. How's, uh, aye. Aye. What of them? Well, um. I shall tell you. I went to speak with Gausa. He is a knight of the Wexcar. And I asked him if he had somebody who could teach my friend here. And he sent us Sigfeda Ardenauer. And Sigfeda Ardenauer tells us that we should come and talk with you. So he is here to talk with you. So what did he say? Who? Gausser or... I want to hear his exact words. Um, well, it's sort of slurred, but uh, basically, see, see my pal. See, see, Fucking see, hell. Uh, see my... Yeah. Uh, That's what he said. Yeah, and you're part, you're part of his crew. Oh, not. yes. And he said you're part of his crew. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Well, you do realise what that means. Yes. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. In character, do we all know this yet? Yeah, we yeah we sort of know. I he don't, knows. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, of course, you she know. knows. <laughs> I don't think you all know yeah. how we got the guy. Mm. Well, um, I know because I have made some decisions that have basically, uh, for lack of a better term, awoken something within myself. Such a right Can you just get to the point? Right. So. Um, we we are aware that there are individuals. The point. The, okay. We know that lots <laughs> no, of people. No. Just tell him what happened to you. Oh, what fine. are you now, and what do you need? Technically, I'm a witch. Technically. Well, and fucking hell, you're fucked, do not you? And you need. And you need training. From. Well, you should be succinct, so I've said the one thing. And Gasser has agreed he will get your kind of training and be admitted into your organisation. Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, you're fucked. You got sick Veda. Well, um I don't know if we have him, it's more he's here and um, <laughs> We keep stepping over him. Yes. Not the best teacher to say the least. Uh, I'm trying to avoid being grabbed by him. Uh, he he mm. he wants me to see uh what you can and can't do. Right, I don't know. Well, I can't do it myself. It's not exactly my area of expertise, but I know someone who can. Can you, um, I'm aware that you, the order you can... Oh, no, it's nothing to do with me. No? No, 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 no. Well, I'll get someone who can sort you out. What, what, what's your part within this? It says, my part is giving you a nice meal. A nice room. Uh, fair enough. Like and that. hopefully some answers for your pal. Oh. Oh, I remember when he came round and said, I'll just say... Uh, I'll send you to my ball. That's what he said. It's uncanny. That's exactly how I said it. <laughs> <sighs> right, I'm going to retire because that's a piece of news. Would you like some company? I would like to tell you what I have been up to since last we met in the temple. <sighs> that's pretty brazen. I like that. <laughs> you said to be succinct and straight to the point. <laughs> I did. And it is my preference as Ulrican for things to be nice and straight because contrary to what everyone thought, I am actually Ulrican. <laughs> by, by my nature and by my heart and by my upbringing, I very much live my life according to uh, Ulrican tenets. All right. Fair enough. Aye. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Do you have any games? Parlour games, you know, that sort of thing. No. no nothing like that's that. That's between me and the Jew. <laughs> no, Go <God>. hard. <laughs> Yeah, but we do same. have swords if you want to uh... <coughs> cross <Right>. them. My <laughs> lady. My lord. Is he going to organise dinner before? Or? I, I assume it's just being done in the background. <laughs> have we not eaten dinner? Yeah, 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 yeah you've had, yeah, 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 had your dinner. Yeah. Oh, this was dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you had your dinner. Oh, this was this, after dinner. Well, that's second dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he knows about a second dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should tell those cabbies they should go home. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, that's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> we'll go back and we'll send his man. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, to conclude with all of that, um, Alam, anyway, could I please have a ball double re roll? Sure. Don't get to do that test very often. Five successes. Okay, one. Nope. No, nope, that's a basic oh, skill. Basic, yeah. basic, yeah, totally. You're basic. I'm a basic <laughs> bitch. <laughs> basic bottery. Um, so, um, for that, uh, we will um, start off the next day knowing the. <gasps> we'll find out after the break as I give her some information to tell everyone else from the good Duke, who was most certainly bottlerized. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> um, bottled. No, it's not quite right either. There was definitely some bottlery going on there somewhere. <laughs> so until then. supplied by the Duke of Delbert is significantly larger than the two cabs that they had arrived in. Five large horses pull a single large coach and within which are our glorious heroes. Poor Nils sits atop <laughs> along with the driver. <laughs> Sitting beside him huddling actually quite pleased to be up there because it's quite exciting. <laughs> Probably cooler as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> brum, brum, brum. Can, we all, can we all sit on that? <laughs> on the inside, our breakfasted party are free for their first time to have a good chin wag about what Alan Minnewife may have heard the previous evening with the good Duke, <laughs> whom she of course was just chin wagging with. Catching up. Is that what we're calling it now? Yes. Okay. Wind chagging. <laughs> Don't, uh, sorry, I, st I sneezed. <laughs> is Jiro sitting with us or? Hmm? Is Jiro sitting with us or? Oh, he'll just sit like that. <laughs> cool. Just a nothing PC. <laughs> <laughs> no, there it is. It's just a little bit. Yeah. Do not get bored. <laughs> Was his face impassive even during the whole butter saga? <laughs> impressive. Just the occasional flicker of disgust. I don't think he speaks right, Spear. Oh no, he does. Do you? He does. I don't think so. No, I heard him, right? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Boom! So... <laughs> no. Stop bullying him. No, uh, just test. So Henry was here... Because his father, the Graf, is raising an army. Who? What? Heinrich was here in Delberts. Mm. Heinrich Torbringer. Yes. Because his father is considering raising an army to ally with your father. Good. Okay, no, that's actually quite good. Because I'm not going to say that, that was, I, I did that, but I think I might have done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he does, he'll be attacking Karaburg first. Because they want Midland. I'm not sure when, but sure. So, <laughs> Nordlanders are on side because they want an electoral. I want of They want what I've got. <laughs> big sword. A big sword. Right. I don't think civil war is good. Hmm. No, I no. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. But um, it's nice to know that you're sort of winning. The Valgiers and the Tugenheims <laughs> are down here, leading them, the wolves, rustling up. I suspect ill feeling against the Sigmarites. The Knights Panther had to go home because they are Sigmarites. Did um. And finally, the leader of the children slash sons of Ulric, whichever epithet you prefer. Is named Wilfred and he is blessed, so it is unlikely you will be able to sneak past him. 
the Duke met him and he was terrified of him. Mm. Lucas says, this is really bad. Very. Mm. <clears throat> Heinrich is speaking to the Dukes of Middenland to ask them to rebel. Yes. On behalf of Boris Tobringer in Middenheim. Yes. I wonder if any have. Did he? No. Oh. He, he's in a difficult position, though. Why? Well, he's much more neutral because he, there's the town and the duke and the duke and the town. It's actually a better position, arguably. Mm. Allows him to maintain his plus independence. Neutrality. Independence, plus he provided valuable information that left them happy. And what was the valuable information? Well, he's met Sigismund and... Of course. So we can assume that Graf Boris Dodbringer knows you are not dead. And we'll be seeking you out. Right, interesting. Um, hostage. Hostage. That's how it works. Yes, okay, so... Are we back to being incognito then? Fucking hell, okay. Is that another um, name? <laughs> I think that is everything, Frank but <laughs> he could not emphasize enough how much we should avoid this Wolfred. And that he believes that Sigmarites have been killing Ulricans. <clears throat> Definitely Sigmarites. He says, I, on my barge, have not realized how bad it has become amongst the folk. No. I mean, I heard the Toddbringers were funding Greta's father. Yeah, yes. Also, I'm not sure if that's true or if we just miss out a rumor. No, I've heard something on those lines, but I. Well, I also heard good. the Von Oslands were funding. That's your the one father. I heard. But I heard the Toddbringers were too. Would make sense. It's a proxy war. And then you get to a situation where actually things are weakened. You and mean you... the Von Ostland? I mean the Von Ostland. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what? The Von Ostland that we met. Yes. That did the sign. Yes. Because he was... Is fun, right, no, it's fine. I thought that this you were saying was that was a sign of the Von Ostlands. Not no, the... no, that the Von Ostland was the... Yes, yeah, that's fine. That For a second there, I thought I'd made some terrible mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> The Von Oslands funding civil strife is not surprising. The Toddbringers funding Reichlanders is surprising. That's Lucas? Civil war, that's what it is. Like, yes. Enemy of Reichland. Like a fragment. Reichland. <clears throat> Everyone's weaker for it. Mm. It's a smashing distraction if they can pull it off. Well, the ruinous powers, Bernie, for the ruinous powers. That's what I mean. You know, you've got to admire it. It's a power play. If you want to go about your ruinous business, how better to do it when everybody else has a teach on the throat? It's a stroke of genius, really. Got to admire it. I mean, I guess. Um, These (laughs) Sigmarites killing Oregon's, is that since maybe they overheard a certain thing or has it Mm. been happening for longer? I mean, it wouldn't have reached that here. It was two months ago, so I don't think the timing is. Two right. months ago right. that they were first killed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's all, this is almost certainly also funded by. They'll have infiltrated my cult as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so. Element really needs to establish. Hand. <laughs> hand is. Hand is. This, this is what yeah. we're going for. This well, is remember, Gerhard still nothing. has literally a purple hand. Yes. Yeah, maybe so we should really need hand. to mimic it. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we just point at so Gerhard's hand. That's what we need. <laughs> Ron? This morning. Hey. Okay, that's good. What did it get? Or, it? or, it, or no, it's really bad. to worry about. <laughs> has it gone somewhere else? Have you checked? Anything else purple? No, wait. Oh, no, I've been rolled yeah. up the whole time, so... Yeah. yeah, it's gone. This morning you woke up with it gone. Check your other hand. <laughs> You have your hand back. Fine. Fabulous. All right. You are hungry, though. Yeah, I'm, you know, undoubtedly. <laughs> For no other reason than just being hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally hungry. Definitely not a rot worm in you. No! <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what that is. That stew was good, though, wasn't it? I'm getting a taste for it, I think. Right now I'm worried. <laughs> You've been hanging around dumplings so much, right? Yes, it did. Uh, do you know what? It did sort of have some kind of beefy got connotations. Now that we've talked about it. So, are we going to do anything about these murders, or are we just going to sail on through? Well, can we sail through? You just said the lad is blessed. So, mm. do we abandon the barge, go on foot? The other thing, how, f- how far are we? 
for Middenheim. Um, you're about halfway between Altdorf and yeah. Middenheim, so there is a long way and to go. How yet. far can you get? To Almost all the way oh, there. Really? Yeah, indeed, you can get all the way up to the base of the Middle but Mountains, and then there's a could, short. Did the Duke say we could use his coach to go wherever we needed to go? <laughs> <laughs> Not wherever. But we can. But within Delbert, we can't yes. really. If we go over land, then we're leaving the barge behind. Mm. Well, there's 14 of us now. Not an option. Mm. What if you? I've hug... included the dogs. What if you <laughs> hug birdies the whole time we're trying to cross? And then, because she, she's really bright. Yeah. Wait. A, a birdie on one side, I'll man wife on the other. Mm. That might that might work. And then I'll. <laughs> All matter of way. Just sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> but but smart aside, that actually might work. Does a does a look past the tree in the way? Horrible. Anything for splitting the party? <laughs> Can you <laughs> loop back around? Mm. Uh -huh. Someone could go on land with the father. Mm. And rejoin the barge. Me. Sounds like a great I mean, idea. We should do it immediately. Except, what if the roads are blockaded? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which it seems very likely. It seems likely. Well, then the he's reason, lost to us. The reason they blockaded. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, he's done. Um, I suggest it's him and you, mate. The blockades are because um, they're terrified that it's agents of the Emperor who've killed these Ulricans and that they'll get through and get to the graph. Mm. So we need to do something about it, realistically. Mm -hmm. The other we... thing to be aware of, the we know because we've been called ourselves, things appearing blessed that aren't. We've been so, and we only know that this person, Henrik, is that the right one? No, Wilfred. No. Heinrich. Fuck! Heinrich. It's e it's easy to remember. He's a blessed of Ulrich. Wolfred. That's it. Thank you. Ten out of ten. Just call him Fred. Fred, uh, Fred. <laughs> and please do not call the Graf's son Henrik if you meet him. What an insult! That would not be good. What? Is it? Ricky. What? Why? Why? Because Henrik is the Marienburger way of saying Heinrich. Oh. Highly offensive. Well, I don't know. It's all, uh, look, I don't do the politics up here. I barely know these people. It's fine. Um, well, how Hen would you like what it am if I, someone? Henrik? Henry? Heinrich. Heinrich. <laughs> what is wrong with him, Lucas? Nothing's wrong with me. Are you I, in the mood? No, I'm absolutely not. I am hungry. I'm not in the mood. He's hangry. We need to feed him something. It would be bad, would it not, to call him Henry? It really would. Well, no, that's good. The Tollbringers are particularly sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, one must consider the Tollbringers. If you want to um, establish what they mean locally, um, consider them like the Emperor. Boris Tobring is the emperor. No, no, no I know that. Um, and I have explained it to everyone. Oh. Um, of course you know <laughs> I know that. that. Um, <coughs> and his son, Heinrich, is exceedingly popular. He uh, is seen by many as Albert Reborn, as if he had somehow managed to uh, walk among everyone. The, it's said that the children, the, the sons of Ulrich, they, they almost worship him as one of theirs. Oh. They are quite convinced that uh, that the Tallbringer, the the, the 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 Duke, the Graf, isn't his father. They think it's they think he's a bastard, to Albert. Mm. Is he the firstborn? No, firstborn's very sickly. The Tallbringers are known for being sickly. Um, they are relatively um, one. I mean, it would be too much to say that they are cursed. But there has been many discussions suggesting they are. The oldest, uh, the heir to Middenheim, his name is Stefan. Um, and I met him once. Not actually quite a fine fellow, but exceedingly ill. Uh, he, uh, he was weak. No other way of putting it, weak. Um, he um, <coughs> often summers um, uh, in the south, but as he has grown older, um, he has uh, more commonly been found up in Middenheim purely because of the fear that someone might try to do something to him. Um, Heinrich, well, Heinrich is probably a bastard one way or the other. He's not legitimate. And the princess, well, there's rumours that he, she's not legitimate either. The worst rumours, though, that there are many bastards to Boris throughout the city, and he just hasn't found them yet. Um, it, it's, they're, they're a difficult people. 
Has he legitimised them, or is it just yeah, but said? I, but it's said. Yeah. I, I I can't be certain one way or the other, but um, Boris is known for having um, uh, a very difficult life that needs to be properly compensated. <laughs> that was how it was put to me by my father. He's a lech. Yep. Yeah. But more so, apparently Heinrich is much more than his father. Um, has no desire to marry, has no desire to uh, make a match. He's arguably one of the most eligible men in all the empire, um, but has no real wish to do so because he enjoys the power it grants him. To marry is to end that power. And his father, uh, well, there are certain issues of legitimacy which plague them. <laughs> he looks nothing like his father. His father, I mean, I've, I've met I've met the Grand Duke. I've met him twice. And he is a powerfully built man. Um, older, but powerfully built. But his son. I mean, he looks nothing like him. Literally nothing. Now, that can happen, of course. But I can't express how much taller he is. It's almost a hoop between them. Now, admittedly, Katerina is also tall. I mean, she's dead. Very little you can say about that woman that's going to be much use. We've, we've seen this before, though. It's, it's the curse hmm. of the family line. She's dim, the other one's broken, and then we have this almost walking god. <laughs> Mew. Be a good match for you, but... <laughs> I, one feels that if he was a mutant, he would probably have... Boris would probably have supported the mutant ethos. Hmm. And he didn't. He did not. That's why he's thinking of allying with... Right. The young point. I don't know. Not that's for why. any sense of cause of he was undone unjustly, just Well, he thinks making mutants legal France. is yeah. wrong. He says I mean what he really wants is Midland, obviously. Mm. Yes, I think that's almost certain. Um mm -hmm. Bo Boris is No, he has Middenheim. Oh. He wants Midland. Mo so. Boris is known for his belligerence. He he uh, when he before he was Duke, he was responsible for many massacres in Nordland. He brought them to heel multiple times. And then when he became the Grand Duke when his father died, he very much kept a very firm hand over all of Nordland. All of Nordland's under his rule. So, there's more of Nordland than there is of Middenheim. Middenheim so, is just a small city-state. Yeah, he rules all of Nordland to the north. So that would be how he knows the Duke of Tain. Because the Duke of Tain, the elf killer, campaigned in the Laurelon. He did. And he in Nordland, yes. yes, yes, yes that good. must be how they know each other. There's um, a thump, 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 thump um, from above. And he'd um, uh, 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 like to know where you'd like to go. Oh, shit. Um, well, we could go back to the barge. Back to the barge yeah. to okay. check on everyone. What, yes. Really? You just said we can't, we can't abandon the barge. So. That's true. Yeah. Oh. Um, how long do we have your services? He says... <laughs> he says, um, well, to take you to wherever you need to go, then he's returning. No. Would have been useful to have. Mm -hmm. No to the barge, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> right, so, um, well, this is awful. Um, it would make sense that uh, Tame would know the Torbringers, in fact, would know Boris. Exactly. Imagine they've been exchanging letters. It, um... The other thing to be aware of is uh, my father, I, well, I have told you all about this, haven't I? Well, I don't know. We can never be sad. <laughs> my Lord. It does tell us we are simply in the dark. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's one of the reasons why I don't like telling you things. You make it all weird. <laughs> uh, so, um, suffice to say is there may be reason or other precedent for the North to be a little bit upset with outdoor, well, specifically, uh, Carl, Franz, and son, well, exiled son now. Um, I'm sure I've told you all this, have I not? Well, tell us again and we'll tell you who the exiled oh. son. <laughs> he, 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 he murdered, he murdered a, a prince of Northern. Who? Carl. Franz. No. Franz's son. Yes. No, you didn't tell me that. No, that's Have nice. I not told you that? No. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought you had as well, but maybe not. No, yeah. we did a flashback, so we knew it. But no, I, I, I thought he'd also it. mentioned it. 
Maybe you mentioned it in our side one. Yeah. Could have been yeah. one that didn't record. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. The stinking one that slipped. Right. right. I, remember, I remember him telling me, but that would make sense. It was just Paul okay. and Lucas. Yeah. So. So I may have told my it. father that, and he he would not be get. Well, I I told it to him to basically marshal the north against the south and and meet brands in the middle like a thing that gets caught in the middle between two other things. Side, side note. Like global. Side, sidebar. <laughs> didn't, <laughs> do you know this, Ed? But wasn't it, didn't our heart tell the Duke of Tame about the... No, I told him something else. You told him something else? Yes, I told him about the dwarf. That the dwarf had been... I gave him something, but not fitted everything. Fitted up, for, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I play that guy like a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Or like a loop. Oh, like a loop. Yeah. Like yeah. the thing oh, you can actually play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you told your father that. Um, the... Well, do you, you? I'm sure it would have been in the in the sheets a few years ago. Well, I say a few years ago. How I mean, that was, was when three years ago now. Two years. Two, two years, years ago. Two years ago. Uh, I can't remember the man's name because well, I've got a brand. Um, um, <laughs> if uh, it was Nordland, it would have been the um, mixer. The Nixers. It was a mixer. Yes. Um, Pushed, fell, died. Dwarf was blamed. Uh, but who actually did it? Say again? Who actually did it? Uh, as I've said. The Emperor's son? Yes. Leopold. Yep, he was there. <laughs> Is he lying? <laughs> can I, can no, I he's just dead. <laughs> Got a bit empathetic? No, no. We, we know this story. We know exactly what happened I'm on not that. Sure. Not sure. No, the we, players know. We've yes. ripped this story out a couple of times and it's, it's come out slightly differently each time, so I don't know which one we're on now. <laughs> like no, but... Fine dwarf, by the way. <laughs> fine so, dwarf. So... Dan the, played that dwarf. <laughs> the Emperor's son... Yes. ...pushed... Correct. ...the Nexa heir... Uh, yes. ...out of a window. Yes. Died. And he died. Yes. That is that why he's been exiled, the Emperor's Pro son. Yes, very much so. We did know this because we spoke with, with oh. Lucas. Lucas was there on the side stream anyway, yeah. so that would be why. Oh. Yep, <laughs> makes sense. Um, Who was where? You caught up, well, the, Yeah, we were all there. <laughs> right. So it might be that my father has used the information that I gave him and done that because in the best way. Exactly, oh. rather explosive. It would bring the normal <laughs> side. The Nordlanders don't get on particularly well with the Midnighters because of their long history of conflict. But then the Midnighters don't get on very well with the Midnighters either for their long history of conflict. In fact, you can probably say that for most of the North. But there is nothing like allying against an outsider to band I, them all together. Mm -hmm. How do you know? I thought you didn't associate with any nobles during your time at university. Mm. Uh, we all well, turn to look at you. Well, um, when when Loop you turn to look away, <laughs> <laughs> you, you look directly at me. No, no, turn I... directly at me. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know. She's got enough spatial awareness. <laughs> um, uh, yes. So when you knew me, uh, or when we met. In you're right, I wasn't necessarily associated with, but there's there's a you've seen my green cloak. There is a reason why I have it. I wasn't necessarily him. Um, my first year of university was interesting. Um, I think they died. Uh, well, I, I tried a lot of things, and, I, and things happened, and uh, I was there basically when said thing happened. Was it the league? Yeah, oh yes, very much so. I was key member at that point. That's how I know Absalom. So it was Absalom there? Oh yeah, he was there. So um, I'm not a fan. Well, Dan, he's obviously a psychopath, but... <laughs> <coughs> so what are we going to do about getting through the blockade in Delbert? Says Lucas. Good question. Um, because that is the pressing concern directly mm. before us, my lord. So, we've got this wolf. Wolfred. Wolfred. I went for Rick in my head. Wolfred. Wolfred. Um, who we need to avoid or unmask, depending on whether we think he's a or not. Avoid seems 
favourite for how well, are we going to avoid the dog? Can you he lie? Can't, he can't be everywhere all the time. Can you tell, you can tell who's blessed? Mm. Can uh, you tell who they're blessed by? I don't know anyone. He can tell <laughs> who's blessed. <laughs> well, I am. Mm-hmm. Yes, but equally I was, you know, tricked by the cultist in Wittgenstein. So mm. just could, mm. could we play it off? We've got someone from, we would all know Ronald, right? Mm. And Ulrich blessed over here. And then you just, <laughs> he'll just sense it on the barge, so it's not really. They're kind of different oh. feelings. What? Uh, Politically. Yeah. Schema like, question. Yeah. But she's Schema. really, really bright, so. What are you saying, this? We're just giving a question. Um, Come on. I think the sons of Ulrich have been, they worship Heinrich, right? You there, said uh, yes. Mm. Many of them worship Heinrich, believing that he is in fact a true child of Ulrich. What if we just approach them? Oh, what's the question? What's um, the question? Mm-hmm. Is it would they be open to like some kind of alliance? Would or they be open to an alliance if we told them who Garhart was and says we were taking him to the Electra Count? No, that's not an alliance. That's just we want through. Yeah. Well, that's not necessarily a bad yeah. thing. We yeah. want to go. Through. We've got a bargaining. Chip. Question is, do they believe you? Uh, uh, does that matter to them? Yeah. Or would they want to take him themselves? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, a, they that's a would. Big winner for them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello, guy. We worship. We've got a guy you really want. Yeah. yeah. We're a chicken dinner. That one most certainly would probably go down. Yeah, yeah that way. Chose All right, so so the blockade, I suppose the reason is, why is the blockade there? That's what we need to find because out. Because Ulricans are being killed by Sigmarites. Okay, so if we then fix that problem of Ulricans being killed by Sigmarites, we'll find out why. It's a little personal, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, it, the, the town on the route that we're directly taking <laughs> is where this particular crisis has come to a head with Sigmarites murdering Ulricans, so now you've got a bunch of fervent Ulricans out to kill Sigmarites. Or it's happening all over mm-hmm. I mean, Midland and the right land right now. I mean, I mean it, it, could, it could be, but it does. When I was on the streets yeah. of Outdoor, I found a murdered Ulrican oh, yeah. who had been murdered oh, by Sigmarites. But that's not really a surprise in oh no in, in yeah. Oldorf, right? Because what it is it's a city full of fanatics. I mean, also he was handing out leaflets about the Sigmarian heresy. So mm-hmm. yeah. what if um because the pan um people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, know that we are going up this way and we kind of embarrassed them. Yeah, we weren't discreet. In fact, we did. We flat out told them, didn't we? Yeah, we've, we've, we've made no secret. We've, we've flat out told them we camp about that. We've been going. told yeah. we have to be there by a certain time and oh, maybe they're making... They've spotted him. I think that's why it's gone. Or or maybe they're... Well, 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 hang on, we'll get to that in a second. So what's hmm. the... They're trying to delay you so that you don't make the time frame. Or maybe, as I've said many hmm. times... We do not speculate clop, 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 about clop, motivation. Clop, clop, clop. We hmm. have just arrived at the barge. Okay. As uh, Lucas goes, hello. <clears throat> Opens it up. Checks if anyone. Yeah, that's it. Like, <laughs> anything shady going on? Six cents. <clears throat> Those so four. our six cents <laughs> is not um, particularly mm. concerned. There doesn't appear to be any danger. There's no prickling of the hackles at the back of your neck. Um, nose for trouble. Uh, the docks are the docks are relatively dangerous, and there's a host of folks who are up to knee good, to put it loosely. Um, having said that, though, as um, you're lifting around, <coughs> they're, it's not especially targeted upon you. It's just they'll, they're opportunistic. Low level danger. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, it, it feels like you know there's trouble here. But it's trouble that will be found rather than directed yeah. directly. The kind of trouble you normally get. Yeah. 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 Probably Absolutely. feels less charged than Aldorf. Mm. Yeah, much yeah. less so. Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting given just how charged the city itself is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Any white walls oh, yeah, around the, the, when we get back? Oh yeah, there's mm. a couple of them um, kicking around and not long about there, you hear the howling lament again of wolves. White wolves. But did you just, why don't you just talk to them? Well, yeah. Ask, ask them some, get a bit more information, that sort of thing. <clears throat> are they? They okay. always like you. Well, yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, 
Um, well, that was my thinking. If they were around to sort of engage in the conversation and just sort of say, "Are you going to go up to some of the milling white wolves who are well, less milling and more marching, moving from place to place?" Who, yeah, whoever's the most senior looking or most. What do you know of the cult of the white wolf? Do you know how to identify a cleric sergeant? Who's or wearing one the of most the cleric braids? captains? <laughs> could, 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 biggest braids. Could, could Lupo help? Yeah. Um, to a degree, if yeah. you could see. But can he tell her what to look for? Mm. Yes, he can. Mm. Look for big braids. Big braids. <laughs> big braids. It is not big braids. Um, <laughs> it's a host, it's, braids. it's, it's uh, not just a mm. wolf pelt, no. Mm. Um, there's certain <laughs> grandiosity for those who are in a position mm. of rank, but that often comes along with the fact that they've got rank of a different kind. Um, it's all down to the wolf tails that they're carrying and where they're carrying them. Um, and uh, lore theology, please, Andy. Uh, yeah, I'm two successes. That, that'll do. Yeah. Um, the Boo Company, um, mm -hmm. which are particularly prevalent up here, um, the Boo Company uh, generally designate their rank um, with hanging. Um, claws and little mm -hmm. wolf tails, um, which are more stylized than actual wolf tails, mm -hmm. sort of hanging wolf tails. Um, and that seems to be relatively easy to spot. Shouldn't be too hard. Perception check. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Am I relaxed? Can I take my time? All well, of course, you've, you've yeah. got all so the time in the world, so you have successes. advantage. Marvelous. <clears throat> Eventually, you see someone who appears to be bearing all the signs that you have been told to identify rank. Mm. Right over there. He's a relatively young man, you'd guess, looking at him. You're not too good at guessing age of mm. humans. Um, you're guessing probably... Oh, God, you don't even know how old you are. Um, <laughs> probably older than you, Luke. Okay. Male. <laughs> I'm scarred all over his face. He's clearly been in a lot of fights. Mm. Um, his hair is shorn to either side and is dug in to either side with wolves oh. that have been dug into place with blades, leaving nice. the flesh all ugly and red. Wolf claw marks down either side. <clears throat> and, yeah. No wonder <laughs> he was screaming. <laughs> yeah. Pardon? No wonder he was screaming. <laughs> 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 the flesh itself is angry and um, red, although it looks like it's relatively well healed. Mm. He, however, is carrying all of the uh, requisite, mm. you think, signs of rank. What are you doing? Um, I am going to stroll past them. I'll make sure my hair is very obvious. Um, with these guys hanging back. Yeah, like, can, can, can mm. some of us just go hide on the barge? Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. yeah. You yeah. Go hide I think barge? we're all dispersed by yeah. the time you do you this. You may mm. dangling some food in front of Gerhard and watching if he reacts. God, you're hungry. Mm. You and are then, actually hungry. And then she'll, like, flick it at you. <laughs> we'll protest. Is <laughs> <laughs> it really good or terrible? Oh, no. <laughs> Is it cool? All power or cool? Yeah. Oh, it's willpower. Willpower. Oh, no. do, 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 do. I think it's, I think, I think it's I terrible. Think it's really bad. <laughs> I think it's really bad. It's real bad. It's a fumble. <laughs> it's a fumble. Fumble five. Oh, I've got fucking, yeah, uh, fortune point. Hey! <laughs> fortune point. Can't what, fortune point. <laughs> it's worse. Can't fortune Can't. point. And to make it worse, you spend it. Oh. The second roll is ignored. What? <gasps> As your stomach roils, twists, um, you vomit. Oh. Maggot. Oh. And, then, and then watch with a growing sense of satisfaction for about four seconds that the maggots are eating the food. I told you. I saw. <laughs> and then as she sits there going, ah, oh, <laughs> before you can even help yourself, no. your face is back down in it. And then you come to your senses. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maggots <laughs> dribbling out the edge of your mouth. Is this, is this on the barge or is this on this the streets? Is, this is on the streets still. <laughs> still You've the already run off yeah. towards the barge. We just came out of the carriage of us. Like, Good job, you man. No, he's walked off. <laughs> they're there. She'll look at Drew like, 
<laughs> come here. I'm getting you to Magritte. Come get, on. Come toughness on. test, please, Yumi. <laughs> Sorry? Toughness test. Toughness. Not <laughs> endurance. <laughs> toughness. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. It's a character sheet. Oh, no. Well, that's a 28. I think that's... Shit, you're fine. Yes, yeah. that's fine. Two successes. Your stomach shifts. Oh, no. <laughs> that's all. Nothing more. It's entirely innocent. It's obviously a reaction to seeing someone being sick. Nothing more. And then eating the sick. <laughs> you no, know, no, you didn't so much eat it, stick your mouth in it, maybe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> she takes like five steps back, like, what the? Attracted to me now? <laughs> <laughs> it's all an act. This is not the time for that. It's smeared across your face. And the worst part isn't what you can see wriggling down there. It's what you can feel okay. wriggling in your throat. Uh, oh, wait, come to Magritte right now. Yep, I agree. Elric. Uh, oh, get a buddy. Get a buddy. Cut to buddy. Come, come, come. Please. My, my share regret. can wait. I want to hear how this happens. So many regrets. Birdie, oblivious to this uh, maggot Folding horror. Horror. Surely you've heard us all go, oh. oh. <laughs> 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 Do I hear that? <laughs> um, well, I think it's undoubtedly going to be the case. I turn around and have a look. Um, he's got sick in his face. Looks like um, Gerhard's been sick. His food didn't agree with him, <sighs> clearly. <clears throat> Whatever. <clears throat> um, so I shall, I shall, I shall walk up to them. I'm not making a pretense that I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> um, the one in uh, try and make eye contact. Uh, with them. Says sorry, no whores. <laughs> And just carries on walking past. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Fucking drop him. Drop him. Make <laughs> 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 him eat the maggot. <laughs> Do a bottle re-roll. <laughs> White wolves are traditionally very good at fighting, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to punch him yeah. in the face. Um, so I am. to give you, mm. uh, because I think it's fair, you've been kicking mm. around using rules now for a while. Mm. To give you an idea of what you'd normally expect for your typical mm. um, experienced white wolf. Mainly, maybe about 140. Yeah. Um, that was a number I was thinking. Proper hard. So, yeah. um, but that's the captains. That's mm. the ones who've been doing it pretty mm. much all their life. Um, they're going to be sitting up like plus mm. 40 something mm. on their skill. Their base stats sitting around about 90 ish. So, round about that <clears> area, <throat> plus talents and all the rest of it. Yeah, it's going to be a tough fight. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean that you win. No, you probably won't. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't want to get into a brawl. Push him, push him in the dark. <laughs> Is that the only way you attract their attention, though? <laughs> yeah. That is not unfair. Yeah. That Shut is him. one so of the best ways to attract an old yeah. attention. Can, can I shoulder check him? You do yeah. want. <laughs> Ram into him with yeah. your shoulder. Do yourself yeah. strength test, please. <laughs> I'll allow it to be a melee test if you wish. Oh, smashing. Um, six successes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, as you hit into his shoulder, and he stops and goes, Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, the white wolf beside him literally barks a laugh. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh bloody hell, sir. <laughs> As, um, yeah. What the fuck do you think you are? He says. Someone who expects better from you than this kind of behaviour. <laughs> he you, what the fuck are you? None of your fucking business. All right, Just... then. Well, fuck off. No. Be on your way. You're here to look after says, us. I'm not here to look after anyone. I'm a white wolf. What do you think? I'm a watchman. Go on, fuck off back to your bottle house. Bloody hells. Yeah. This place, Delbert, Middenland. Middenland is the fucking worst. I hate this place. The sooner we conquer it, the better. Um, All I want quite to... a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes yeah. going, he said the quiet bit out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Birdie walks right up. How tall is he? Um, he's about 6'2", so you're taller. So I walk right up to him, look down at him, I'm just trying to get back to fucking Middenheim. You guys need to clear that blockage. How do we get past it? 
I think I might need a charm test. This is Birdie's version of charm. <laughs> I do have charm now. He's got attractive. So if he's attracted to you, you cannot score less than one success. I've got attractive mm. too. Yeah, you I cannot score less than two successes. Two successes. Uh, so my charm is... Fewer than two successes, um, just because it's really buggy that you said less. Um, I'm you just can't score uh, worse than two. I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just too shy on my charm No, but test. if you fail, because you're attractive, you, you cannot score. Still get two. You, you yeah. got so two I'm successes. You got two successes. Um... <laughs> um, as he looks at you and he says <sighs> really tall <laughs> he says in from the side you're like huh. <laughs> I don't care about little boaties and little sons and daughters of Ulrich who think they're very important. If that is what the Burgermeister wants, that is what the Burgermeister gets. You have an issue with them, go speak to them. White hair girl who didn't even give me a name. Done! Done! Done with this place! Done! He says, <clears throat> I have buried enough of my friends to not have to deal with this shit. This shit. This shit. He made me swear. He made me swear. He made me swear. <laughs> made me swear. As he walks past. <clears throat> I, I sort of call after him and say, thank you, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> oh my God, the city. The city is the worst. <laughs> we should just raise it. Uh, you, you, you can't just be raised and everyone that insults you, sir, says, because you'd raise the barracks. He says, oh, bloody hard, bloody, bloody fucking hard. Puff. Ah, I didn't deserve that. You bloody did. As the pair of them walk off. Well, you got some information. To the bird <laughs> You found the bird, these people. And I, and I got okay. to show just the white wolves. I've had the best time. <clears throat> okay. Sit down with McGree. You going to McGree? Is that where you're going? He doesn't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> we are escorted. Is he getting escorted to McGree? McGree is sitting down um, <clears throat> in the dark with a single candle in the relative cool. The barge turning a page as she looks up with her pale face and her full lips and says, Why are you escorting me? <laughs> I don't like the tenor of this. Was no. it? Elric, he didn't know if I rotworm, did he? Did he not have a different name? No, 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 I think he said The name came yeah. from yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and you say that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> As in, oh, oh I'm shouting. Uh, I guess, Lady Magister, I'm sure I've said this already because we saw it on the way to you, but he's not all right. He's not okay. He's just vomited maggots and then ate them. While he was being teased, you may not in the room, but, yeah. but no, I, no, I mean, I also felt something, so I'm yeah. coming. <laughs> yeah. with has come pale. <laughs> no matter how sunny and tan she's got, suddenly quite pale. Mm. But I saw, I saw a rotworm in him. He was followed by them, like they were worshiping him underneath your castle. Fix it. <laughs> please, he smiles, lady. A please would be nice. But a please would be nice. Yeah, it would be lovely. <laughs> Looks at you. God, say please. What have you done? I, I don't <laughs> actually know. I'm afraid. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't see this. Oh, can I try and see it? Do yourself. That's surely going to help. <laughs> a perception test if you have second sight. I don't know. Dang it. I'm just looking at the dummy. <laughs> and, no, uh, and also, um, and also, my lady, um, when all that happened, I felt a little bit ill. And I d I've seen some gross stuff. I don't think it was just. Mm, I don't like it. Please, could you check me out too? I, I think she's just squeamish. I've seen plenty of people with puke, Elric. Have you ever kissed each other? What? Have you kissed each other recently? No. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Are you lying? 
Not about not knowing. The okay. kissing thing. No. <laughs> Is he like? I get to roll it. I'm a puppet. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> Ninety-two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to spend a fortune point. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 86. It's so close. <laughs> Three successes. You don't think so. <laughs> don't fucking... Oh, is this fucking zombie girl heart? Have you shared food? You must have shared food, probably. Probably. Mm, maybe. Well, let me <coughs> but then why are Can you all not feeling... look at you may and try and see... It, wasn't, it was kind of just came on him. But he'll try and focus on you, man. Oh. Yeah. Is there any? Is remember? Can I help on endurance test, please? Mm. Mm. Let's go. We're getting stuff fixed. Book done. Hand done. Tummy done. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not done yet. Good. Can I have an endurance test, please? I, I'm nowhere near any of this, yeah? <laughs> You're hiding in your room, yeah. listening in, going, what, what, I, what I'm desperate doing is, is flicking through my holy books t- to see if I've got like any cleansing rituals in there, maybe. <laughs> Please! I can do. That'll be quite Hand nice. on each page, there's going to be something um, in here. Yeah. Good. Your stomach shifts slightly. Oh. I'll give you a perception test. Oh, it's either very good or very bad. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Perception. Uh-huh. It's based on intuition. It's going to be Fuck bad. Fuck crits, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, you hear something. Whisper. <clears throat> Father. Oh. Uh, that's just sort of shit. Um, okay. So now it's sort of, I think it might be aware that we're aware. <laughs> I just heard, I, I think it, and the, then it's the thing. Okay. <laughs> <So> Father, <laughs> Father save cool me. test. No. I, I don't hear that, right? Success. No, no good. No, zero, yeah. zero success. Zero success. Pass. Here we go. There must be something in here. There must be something in here. So, um, if, if you can or have any powers to sort this out, it would be ideal. Did, did he just tell us he heard that? Or did yeah, he? yeah, 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 I said it. But remember when we were in... Um, when uh, Alana Grauman had to rescue us, yes, all those creatures coming towards you were they not saying? The, yes, they were saying, Father. Father, I don't, I really don't like remembering that. It yes, was... but maybe that's oh. when you were infected. Where was this? Oh, uh, you weren't there, oh. which was unfortunate. We could have done with you. Um, <laughs> it was Murder House Two. Pre-stream. No. Pre stream. <laughs> no, sorry. Pre stream. No, sh- stop calling it murder house. <laughs> it was. Murder abode. Yes, we were trapped by. But if we could remember the thing that trapped us, then perhaps Lady it was Lichtenstein. In a, actually, it was in a. Uh, um, we turned out just to be in an attic or in a tumble down old house. But, but whenever we, thought, we looked outside, you saw Olgu, didn't you? Yes, we oh. thought we were in a massive house. And I oh. saw Olgu oh. outside. And there was some creature that was attracting us towards it because it wanted to consume us. Mm -hmm. There was also a book that tried to eat us. But I wasn't there for those things. Yeah, but you may have caught it since. Mm -hmm. But he's like barely held my hand since. But you've shared food. (laughs) Birdie's arrived by this point, comes out, and he did carry you back after you got knocked out when we were fighting that giant worm, and then... Goes off to <laughs> <laughs> stuff. Expedition <five. laughs> I did do that. You did, and didn't you uh, either her cuddle her or gave her a hand a squeeze? That could have been it. <gasps> could he be? No, he squeezed out a men white's hand. I think. Mm, no, 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 he, he gave oh, you. Marjorie says, says, "This is pointless. Mm. You don't know why. No. It just is. That is all that matters. And you've been infected. An infection that apparently has been contracted by another. This infection." That you have? It didn't come from my castle. No, I don't think it did. No, you had it beforehand. You brought it to my castle and they felt light. Too light, I presume. They were attracted to it like a lodestone. They weren't worshipping you. You were simply moving in the direction of it. That which lies within you. I think you need to be exercised. <laughs> have a ritual is this, a, is this a that would be really helpful <laughs> is this a priestly thing rather than a magisterial thing if it's a holy book I can read it with his hands yeah. <laughs> right. just flicking the pages um, 
this would probably require an exorcist. I'm sorry, I do not know that word. And someone who is responsible for removing demons from the room. Infectious ones in this particular case. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it's small. Assuming you're like that. He um he's gotten really hungry, so I think potentially it's grown quite a bit. <laughs> You'll find that if it is a demon, hardy, the, a it's bit. not so much size that matters. Its size is held and constrained by a completely different uh, array of well, the word would be dimensions, I suppose. Can you can you see it? Can you perceive it? No, I cannot. Why can you perceive it? I, I can perceive it now. I just saw it in the castle. Yeah, strange. Hmm. Well, normally it would only be seen by those who were guardians, were guardians or druids. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> but that is what your family is, so perhaps it's just a familiar Hereditary, thing. Hereditary, maybe. Hereditary. Like, save all the <laughs> Do you want me to lift up my top? Oh, of course, you're complicit now. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. You're also giving. Yeah, that's not going to cause any harm, is it? No. Okay. One, I see that one pack. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Bit of a tan. You rolled up your top during the day? Occasionally. Mm. <laughs> I caught the Britney. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> Maybe one more time. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (coughs) Okay, well, um, I guess we can look for one. Are they common? It'll be. It depends what it is. If it is a minor entity, it could lie within a few years. No, I. I, Sorry, I meant the exorcists. No. I thought so. The Cult of Sigma has several of them in our day. Would would a light wizard not be a similar? Probably a bit they, more. They would probably burn everything. it out. Yeah. Yeah. They would burn it out. I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, it's an option. Right. Mm. It's on the table. I wouldn't like to suggest that possibly you may know someone who does, but it might be the case. Druids know certain ways around this sort of thing. It is nothing more than life gone out of control. Mm. And you are related to many who can bring life under control. Right. Does he, he doesn't know if he's got family in Min, in Midnight, does he? No. I no. um I am concerned if but it's you infectious. do you do have family in Middenheim. Because um we met them on the road, remember? Those two wizards, weren't they blues who were from further north? Oh, oh shit, yes. And Del Bren. You met with a blue wizard of your family, and you went off to meet with them um, out in the forest, oh, yeah. and they came from Middenheim. Right. One of your family members are up there. Oh, right. But that's a blue college, not green. Mm, yeah, but <laughs> they know. Yeah, she, maybe she would <laughs> they know. They wouldn't know anything, right? They well, definitely wouldn't be druids. They when would know other fans. Potentially. <laughs> well, there's nothing Could, to be done now. No. So, any, any way to... Contain or slow? I'm not without containing and slowing him. Nope. The Our concern point. is the potential infectiousness. If, for example, Mistress Yume is also infected, then. Can you tell me if this is wrong in terms of how Elric would perceive the world? He'd see mm-hmm. the flows of Gyron yes. through people. Yes. Um, has there been anything unusual? In Gerhardt's, so in yourself? how it would. Uh, perception test. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn it. I thought it was 48, but it's 84. Uh, I'll use a fortune point. Fortune point it is. That's ah, still not good. No. Unless so he's the super, answer is, super you're not seeing your anything. Time. Can you take his time? He is taking his time, yeah. Oh. You have advantage. Oh, advantage. advantage. Yeah, but I said, unless I've got super, super advantage. <laughs> 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 Point taken. <laughs> um, you do not have super, super ah. advantage. <laughs> so Tame, it just looks like Gyron. Now, Tame, guess... it looks like the Gyron's flowing through him as you'd expect. Yeah. And you may too. Yeah, one test absolutely. Mm. It is a concern, but it is something that I'm not, sadly not... It is not the first time that I've encountered this. My father used to try and extract them. Truth. 
Sorry, my grandfather. He's just what he referred to. My grandfather, he would try to extract them. Could the people die that he extracted them from? Yeah, well, he would extract them from cultists. Mm -hmm. He would not do it in a friendly manner, but they were not infectious to dying people. But they could <coughs> be extracted through surgery? Uh, no, they could be thoroughly your... extracted oh, right. using magic. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should stay <coughs> away from... And there's a crash as through the slats from above falls Sigveda. No. Punch on his shoulder. Ah, you fucker! He says, as he looks at you wearing his slightly dirty nappy. What have you done to my barge? <laughs> <coughs> he says, you got a fucking worm in you. Right. Good, of course you would. Come here, fat boy. <coughs> Come on, fat boy. He has. Come on! I Come here, you fucking fuckwit. He says, got a fucking worm in you. How the fuck did you manage that, you silly cock knocker? Right? <laughs> <sighs> what are you, wait, hang on, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of the fucking worm. What do you think I'm fucking doing? Oh, do you want to keep? All right. No, he yes, doesn't. No. no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he clambers up and he says, "There you go. You're not interested." No, 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 I'm Fuck interested. You. Uh, uh, uh. I, I bet he can't do it. Uh, uh, I bet he hasn't got the he, skill. Please do it. Please. No, he can't. He can't do please. it. Please. I beseech you. I cannot stand it. Both your attempts to try and persuade me. Are pretty shit. Elves. You can't you. trust a fucking elf under. Oh, oh, he can't do it. Oh, this will make him do it. <laughs> fucking hell, I need a drink. Do it or not, just. I'm not. There As go. he Away saunters go. off. He'll come around. Consequences, my lord. Go and I'm ask him to do it properly. Do I would suggest talking to him if you think you can persuade him. Have you spoken? Well, have you spoken to him? I have refused to speak to that exactly. piece of flesh. Fine. Um. Okay. But that doesn't mean that if he is capable of doing <coughs> what he can do, that you should not pursue it. Plus, yeah. if he's going to teach you, you're going to have to adopt a different kind of relationship with him, in which you may need to swallow your pride repeatedly. Thank you for your help, my lady. I'm not worried. You might I shall have, have a conversation. Well. I'm not doing that. That's why I, did I said because... swallow his pride, not swallow his cock. Well, that's what <laughs> well, I'm interested. So, <clears throat> help me. <laughs> right. I'm just saying. No, sure. I enough. don't like my master. I don't think uh, that we've come to that sort of... Yes, but you will. Titling mm. If things. his pal checks you out and discovers what you can do, then he will teach you. Right, Look, all of these, teacher. all of these fellows are just full of shimsham, flimflam. No, what's Could the word? You please leave Bullshit. my hold. Bullshit. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, uh, my Sorry, lady, my for lady. the help. But also, the longer that you leave this unchecked, the more be a problem. likely you are to have a problem. And I don't just mean the worm. You wouldn't like to infect baby Sigismund, nope. would you? That's no, I what I was going to say before he fell through the. <laughs> Maybe you should stay away from the baby. It's quite a way as well, isn't it, realistically? <laughs> um, Alan Van Oyth, like runs upstairs. Runs downstairs to Greta. Greta, Greta, Greta. She says, yes, Teacher. yes, yes. <laughs> um, has, Sig has, has baby Sigismund even younger been at all more hungry than usual? Well, you know as well as I do. I've been away for a day. For a day. Alan Van Oyth, you need to calm down. Would you like a pet? No. <gasps> oh, now I know something. <laughs> I don't know what one. Well, are you sure? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Walks away. Wow. What is going on in oh, this scene? I forgot to share this. <laughs> Runs up, mask. Lounges. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it yourself, all of you. You're all just annoying. Did you hear something? I remember I've got a bit of a fringe this week. Flick, flick. Beneath you, face down. Starfish. <laughs> I don't have pants on. You can look if you like. Uh, no, he's looking. He's face down. Oh well, your loss. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you looking upwards? 
<laughs> and we're Liverpool season 360. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also, we can't really see her. So. Mm. Yeah, there's just a gaping hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Terrible. I mean, how's your bottle re-roll? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this stream. <laughs> Just a rules question. What happens yeah. if you're all 69 on Baldury? It should be a crit, right? I'm going to see everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You've been uh, possessed by a greater demon of slanesh. <laughs> it's like that. It's all going so very well. Um, what are you doing, Garhart? Uh, right, okay. Your man's um, already asleep upstairs, apparently. That's fine. I'll go and try and make amends somewhat and ask for help. He's face down. He looks at you with one eye and he says, uh, here we go. Uh, yes. Um, hey, uh, out with it. Come on. I don't really know As how. As he rolls over. Uh, okay, that's... <sighs> Two know. fingers missing. Lots of scars. Bits yeah. of him have clearly been burnt badly. Bits of nose, ear, eyebrow. Body in general. Not there. Uh, okay. Um, if, if you can fix me. Oh, is that some new power of yours? This. Look at that. It's just a stretch. It's just a stretch. Ah, oh, look at that. It's just testing me out, are you? No, no, just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. What do you think, eh? How's the test going? Could you, if you can, could you, uh-huh. would, you would you fix this? Uh huh. All right. Oh, you're yeah, asking. Yes. Uh, you're going to say please. 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 What, what, what do you want now? What do you want now? I want to hear it. Uh, would you take whatever is in here? Uh, a fucking worm in your belly. The worm in my belly, yes. Uh, right. Out for me, please. Well, that sounds dangerous. You, you, do you want to pet it? Uh, no, no. I had to take worm once. I kept it, kept me nice and slim. I'm like oh. you. <laughs> <coughs> All right, fat boy. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah, no, okay. He says, there's nothing wrong with that. No, 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 fine. Take he it. says, you're just a bit stodgy around the middle. You could do with a bit of training, is what I'm saying. Don't say <laughs> Down below. <laughs> We've tried. Uh, if you could, yes, please. Mm. All right. This might go wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. I critted. 11. Yeah. It did not go wrong. <laughs> Let me roll again. Good. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first one's pretty good, though. Um, I see... You see, what you got inside you, that's, uh, it's kind of fucked up, right? Yeah? Right, yes. Right, you got a bit of your body. You said you were a doctor, you know about it. You know those snaky bits, you know, all the shit that just flubs out when you cut something open. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's where it's sitting, in amongst the snakes down there. And it's taking its lunch amongst your snakes. It's taking a good bite of what you've got down there. Um, made your belly a bit swollen. Have you not noticed that you're feeling a little bit like, oh, have I been, have I been with the wrong man here? I just thought yeah, it, you know. I thought it was gas. <sighs> no, no. I, I'll be, I'll be wary, by the way. Those green wizards. They can make a man pregnant, you know. Just watch you now. If, you're yeah. a pretty man. Good to know. There are certain greens that'll look at you and go, aye, aye, I wouldn't mind having a, a girl or a boy or who knows what with that one. And you've just shown just how good you are at... Uh, Given life. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you want to idea? Uh, uh, yes, please. Pulls a dagger. Hey, lie down. Uh, what? Lie down. You said you want to idea. Lie down. Okay. Oh, that that girl. Yeah, the the, uh, the one with the dark hair. She can get your belly out. I don't want to touch that. <clears throat> uh, you, you may. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 sure, I mean, I might, but I'm not gonna. Uh, do you? She mean, can. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's your new alias. <laughs> <laughs> you mean she can? <laughs> uh, you, you may. I think if, if you were over oh, here. Hello. Um, could you sort uh, give us a hand? Sure, I think. I guess. Get his belly out. Eh? <laughs> I th- I'm not entirely sure if it's needed, but he said it's needed, and I'm sort of trusting him on this one, if you would. Oh, look at this, Fatty. 
<laughs> He's got can a party they, down there. Can they poke <laughs> his belly as right. well? <laughs> it moves slightly. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there it is. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it. I'm sort of not really looking. <laughs> right. Um, I'm sorry to say it's not a boy or a girl. Okay. Do, yeah, fine. First thing we need to do is find out exactly what it is. Um, um, before we do, could I do, um, can I pray? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Delberts. Um, hey, shit, Midland. No, this is fine. Right. It's a rot worm. Just <laughs> he says, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a jade wizard. Those have been. <laughs> <laughs> we're fine, eh? We're fine. <laughs> you and me, we're fine, eh? Are we fine? Yes. Aye. We've said Elrond. Don't think so. I'm apologising for this ahead of time, but I might suggest that your man there, the one who's looking on trying not to laugh, <laughs> he might want to hold you down because you're going to find me very, very attractive in a few moments. You're going to look at me and you're going to think that's the finest sausage I've ever seen. Uh. And you're going to think it's sausage time. I'm really hungry for sausage. So unless you're going to, unless you're really hungry, now, before, I mean, if you're hungry now, he yeah. doesn't need to hold you down. I'm fine. If you would, uh, so that being the case, I suggest you hold him down. Now, it's up to you whether you let him, you know, get up or not. Mm-hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Just are you holding him down? You know, yeah, of course. You know what <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and the second one. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta just channel a little extra gyron. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it might make him even more attractive. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, this, no. As sensations go. Uh, was it a good roll, by the way? Just uh, hold on. No, it wasn't a good roll. Okay. And I really don't want to fuck it up, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Successful. As sensations go, this is quite unlike anything that you've experienced in your life. And there's a significant part of your rational mind that is struck with the abject horror of what it means. And that's that you're not actually in control of your body. Your body lies out with your control. Your rational mind is up here. But just like hungers control you, just like your thirst controls you, apparently, he is the most intensely attractive man you have ever seen in your entire life. No. Um, and it is as impossible to deny as your deepest thirst and your greatest hunger. It is overwhelming and it is horrifying. The fact that your mind can be so easily and quickly undermined with just a significant spell of some sort that you don't understand but that can be done to you or indeed possibly anyone else. Huh. You can see why the Jade Wizards always put on a happy smile and pretend that they're the nice guys of the order, so to speak, because this is horrific, actually horrific. And you've got more than enough, enough of your mental capacity to understand what's happening while simultaneously being absolutely out of control so can, of your body. Third party. Almost. Yeah, mm. almost. Mm. Um, and... The ramifications of what that means for those who must be in this college is terrifying. Um, You thought the greys were potentially bad because they can literally change minds. But this is no different. If you didn't have, if you didn't have people with strong will with these powers, who knows what they could do to people? Because right now you are not in control. I presume you're going to hold them down. Yeah, of course. Yes, Mm -hmm. totally. Right. He, test it uh, uh, he, he's three times as strong. Yeah, so. yeah, totally. <laughs> it, it, it's really fine. In this light, though, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's sweating, and you can feel the guy and surge in him massively. His body is alive. You're alive in a way you've never been before, and fuck the rest of the world. Maybe literally, but literally, <laughs> fuck the rest of the world. Um, as the life floods through you and it hits whatever is inside you like a tidal wave slams into it it causes um obvious physical responses from you um uh, a tidal wave in more ways than one 
as uh, you are <laughs> sitting there with all mookers in the middle of it going, <laughs> sweat pouring down your body. The obvious tidal wave, what were you thinking? Um, sweat <laughs> rolling down your forehead um, as he comes and puts his hand on your belly and pulls back and your whole body distends upwards. Your belly bulges outwards as he then pulls and a shimmering light as a maggot forms and <laughs> pops. Good noise. And your stomach collapses down and all the magic goes up out with it, leaving you, if anything, in a far worse state than you were before. Because it's all flushed out of you. You've got none of the life. You've got none of the goodness that had come with it. You felt so alive. Uh. And suddenly you now feel hollow, empty, like your entire life has been worthless up to this point. Um, as uh, he is holding it, looks over at you and says, here, big man, uh, you should flood him with a little bit more. If he doesn't get a bit more, he might jump off the boat. Aye, it'll pass, it'll pass. Uh, flood him with a bit more now, quick. Uh, oh, we're we're chilling hurts. now, right? What? We're chill? Oh, <laughs> no, chill. no, no, not really. <laughs> no, the glowing maggot thing. Oh, Sit right in front of you. Glowing maggot thing. This is not chill. So this is for Gyron or Axwee? Uh, Gyron. Gyron, yeah, cool. So the fortune point. Yeah, we're fine. Super. As your heart feels like it's suddenly lubbing back to life <sighs> again. Your sweat's now cold and sitting in your forehead feeling uncomfortable. You can feel the sun again. You weren't feeling it at all for a few moments there. As life comes through to you and he holds it shimmering in his hand. Do we have a wizard? We're going to need a wizard. I'm holding it. I need someone to burn, fuck it up. To burn it? Yes. I need someone to fuck it up. <clears throat> right, what I'm going to do, right, imagine it's a midden ball, right? <laughs> imagine it's a midden ball. Right, you got it, he says. Aye. He leans back in his nappy. <laughs> Come on, have you got it now? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a big fucking welly, right? Um, and I'm going to send it over there. It's your job to give it a proper poking, all right? You need a little bit of time to gather no, your wits. No, but do we have much around us? What? Are we going towards just the water? Oh, I'm fucking right into the water. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you want, I'll throw it out in the pier where all the folks are. Oh, just give me a countdown. I'm ready. He looks over them. There's some folks at the pier. There you go. Wizards! Cool. <laughs> Count it. Right, you ready? Three. Four. Two. Uh, fuck it! Cool. Pond! <laughs> Uh, cool, yeah, fireball. Ah, sweet! Whoosh! <laughs> and green slime splats everywhere for a 20 meter radius. Aww. Splat! Oh, yeah, fucker! Nah, he chucked it a bit further out, but I don't know if I'm. Oh, yeah, fucker! <laughs> 20 <laughs> meters is quite a long way. <laughs> 20 meters is really quite far, yeah. Um, as he sits there. Oh, fucking hell, I got it! Nice ones. Good thing you got that butter. That'll just wipe right off now. <laughs> Looks at you. Hey. But it's all over all of us, right? Uh -huh. 20 meters. Oh, you. Below deck. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Nils are below deck. But, oh, that sounded messy. Can, oh. we uh, can we wash it off in the water? Will it be contagious? No, it's nothing. This is just... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, we, we not, literally jumps in the water. <laughs> we're not allowed to slip up. I mean, I hope it's nothing because I'm covered People up. People go missing in these ones. No, in the lake. No, in the lake. Oh, in the lake. We're not in the lake. Swim we're not test, lake. please. Pardon? Swim test, please. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> not in advance. I've, yeah, but if you've got swim, you don't have to do a... Oh, no, that's strong swimmer. Do any of us have swim? I've got swim. Oh, okay. I have strong course. swim. I will oh, yeah, yeah. get um, a bucket of water, I succeed, please. I succeeded, but with <laughs> the bare minimum. That's enough. <laughs> Can um, heat his body temperature so much just to burn it off? Um, that's a spell um, to go ah, that high. Okay. Um, so there is a spell that does that, that but gets rid of all impurities it. on and around you. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, as uh, he squelches down, you must have done something. You must have done something with something at some point. That doesn't come from nowhere. Yeah, what did you do, Griffith? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. <clears throat> at some point, you have made a very bad decision. I could, uh, that's not, um, that no. is. <laughs> not narrowing it down. Yes, well, <laughs> if, if my pal says that you're worth looking at, you can't fucking make bad decisions like this because it 
this will happen. And is that what you want? No. Great! He says, well, you're not a tit. He says, I am going to go get some sleep. He says, after I've had a swim. Oh, fuck this water. No, I passed. I'm still in there. It's <laughs> right. right. bucket of water. Just wash the grime off. I need to change. <laughs> I know what I I'm glad you I see need, that now. I need to burn this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just, I mean the clothes. <laughs> no, I just mean the clothes. Sorry, I can't hear you. I've got water in my ears. <clears throat> She's taking the piss. Says, elves can hear everywhere. I once had an elf that could hear me from just the other side of the room. No, I'm joking. It was like 300 <laughs> meters away. I'm telling you. No, no, wrong. You know, Father Luke it was a storm, yeah. an actual storm, blizzard everywhere. And we were being quiet. I mean, fucking quiet. And then, psh, fuck off, fucking elves. <laughs> fucking uh, elves. I can hear you, you know. Hey, I think that's the point I was making. <laughs> Water girl. Um, <laughs> Looks hey, at you. Uh, uh, um, I, do you think you could check whether I... Is it infectious? Because I've definitely felt ill. All right, that. skinny boy. Get her belly out. <laughs> uh, what? I can do it <coughs> myself. Belly out. Oh, I, no. I, I need help with my corset, actually. Could you help me? Uh, what? I, I need a corset. For goodness sake. Are you a man or a mouse? No, uh, fine. What do you want me to do? Cut it or... or no, uh, I'll leave hmm. you. <laughs> oh. You monster. <laughs> do you know fine. how much this costs? No, I don't. I, I've never bought one. <laughs> you sure that was a bit too quick, girl? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that appears I'm quite the expert. Luckily, luckily we lost that side stream. Whoop! <laughs> 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 yeah, you're fine, love. Okay. Don't know why you think you'd have it. Why would you think you'd have it? Because I felt I felt something move when I saw yours, and I just didn't want to like. Maybe that's just the sort of thing you like. <sighs> no, I don't. Did your belly respond? Did you look at it and think, "Hey"? I don't think <laughs> usually my belly responds when I like something. Uh, well, you're lost. <laughs> he says, "Sit down." Oh. Can someone help me get out? Not me. Oh, I've got to roast my other Has side. Birdie not got the pole. But Birdie, I'm coming. Or you could hold on to the bucket. <laughs> it's on a string. <laughs> so, silly rotworm in your belly aside, uh-huh. what's the next plan? Burgermeister. The Burgermeister. I, 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 oh, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> here's what I found out while well, you guys were doing whatever it is you guys were doing. Uh, putting bird. back a corset on. <laughs> Later. <laughs> um, turns out the, the uh, barges, Burgermeister asked for it. He's who we need to talk to. We want to get past that blockade. Right. Or we could all go to the pub and get past. Why not do both? All right, go me when you're done. I'm not actually against that plan. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Tw- give me twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes. Chit shower and shave. Yeah. What's going on? Exactly. Yeah. But not the mustache. <laughs> the mustache not have bits. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Well. Nice comb. It's a time I to have shave a good comb. Uh, comb. <laughs> yes. Quite. No. Not from you. So, um, do we plan to go to the Burgermeister? Yes. Where is the Burgermeister? Is that the name of the, <laughs> the town hall? The town, 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 hall. Hall. town hall. Quite. Mm. So off to the town hall then. Well. Yeah, would it perhaps make sense for Leopold and Mules to sit this one out? No, you just put just you just do your silly hair and then and you come with. Get a big hat. I mean, nobody can tell someone's a Sigmarite just well, by unless the blessed Wolfred Wolfred is who's in, in the cahoots with the Burgermeister might be with the Burgermeister. Who is what, in cahoots? What, what if you from? follow us and I'll look? <laughs> The, 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 the sons wanted to blockade Wait, it. Hold on. It's, let, her, let her speak. I'll go ahead and I'll check I'll, I'll if he's there. I'll question first. And then if I don't see anyone who's blessed, then you can join us. Sure, but if you've already gone there 
and convince the Burgermeister to let us pass. Why do we need to go back? Because you're really good at speaking to people. It might be helpful to have you along. I'm, I might not be really good at speaking to people in Middenland. Mm. You used to live here. Yeah, I town. mostly talk to Sigmarites. <laughs> <laughs> you maybe can just do the whole no one sees them. Yeah, you could do that. Look, all I, I mean, yeah, maybe not. For, all, for all we know, look, you can dress up as a not Sigmarite. You've done it yeah. once already. You got in a cab. Nobody noticed you. We're only talking about if a, that blessed <coughs> person happens to be walking. They might walk past the barge when we're not here. Mm-hmm. I mean, they might. I would say they're more likely to be with the Burgermeister they must have convinced to blockade the river. We don't know if they convinced the Burgermeister. Well, if the Burgermeister's the one who had to order it and it's them that's doing it, that would suggest there has been some communication. I think you're doing this, uh, you're approaching this too, Sigma Righty. You're, you're, you're holding back, locking in, defensive. We have to strike out. It's not about being defensive. You're our greatest out. weapon when we talk to people. You're so charming. Well, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the hair parted like that. Is... <laughs> hey, that is an ace hairstyle. <laughs> no. It's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, would you rather be with us when this Wilfred picks you up, or with Lucas, the baby and Lucas, and the tall drink of water that keeps following you around? I mean, I'd, I'd rather he just didn't find me at all. Yes, but if you're, you you have to be somewhere in this town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to be picked up by him. Fine, it, it's, it, you, I'll come. Good, I'll come. Excellent, sorted. I'll maybe come. Give me a moment. Go <laughs> do it. Yeah. I'm gonna go do a divination. Yeah. <laughs> First, of all, <laughs> First of all, we'll do a divination. <laughs> then we'll maybe do an augury as well. I think. <laughs> ah, getting pulling them all out. So divination yeah. first, and what does that do? First of all, so divination. Um, just it gives me a glimpse into my future. And it basically gives me give your bonus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it warm enough that it will dry off? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll suffer around the gods. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> give me a second while well, I call up the wrath of the gods. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a night. You get a maggot. <laughs> <laughs> Between you and Kat, I mean, there's a lot did, of bad rolls going on. Can you re-roll it? Or is it... No. Oh, no, can't, can't fortune point it. I, I could re roll it. I can't fortune point it. Mm. If I, it's one of the reasons why I do tend to do the um, uh, divinations first, because I can use a divination re roll mm. to do a re roll on auguries and things Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Mm. Um, Game more system. That's zero zero. You now run through the streets and I can show to get a priest of Sigmar. Come on, I'll have you all. No, but like, why would Sigmar be annoyed with us? Like, it's an interesting it's a good, question. It's a good question. What's he doing? Asking going, whether he what, should go somewhere. Why are you going out there, you idiot? <laughs> no, what I was about to do was to try and get what was the safe path there. Mm. I was preparing for an augury. So maybe he's going, don't go out, you fucking idiot. Trust your instincts. These well, people are oh, bad influence. Um, I'm not known for our common sense. Oh, it's not good. Um, <laughs> oh, again. It could be a little worse. Um, so, purge the flesh. Ooh. I suffer 2d10 plus sin points. I don't have any sin points, so 2d10 damage. Uh, ignoring toughest bonus and APs. <laughs> so I take... 20. 12 wounds. Oh. Uh, <laughs> then I attempt an endurance test, which I think I fail. <laughs> <laughs> which I fail. Uh, which means I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just gone into your room and just gone... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I've sat down, just ran into the wall. I've sat down, I've got my bones out, yeah. I've rolled my bones, and then I've gone, ah! And Nils is just... <laughs> so Bloody hell, are you all right? <laughs> oh, help! 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 I think he's what? done died! <laughs> I'm, probably, I'm probably close. I think right? he's done you're died! Not, you're probably close you also got a fucking degree in medicine! <laughs> Someone should really get that. <laughs> but you know, if you were further away, I would go with my animal care five. <laughs> Doctor! <laughs> right, right, right. I think he's dead! What, what, what's going on? At the door. The gods have punished him for his cowardice. Well, well yes. <laughs> well, uh, oh, it's a good thing I'm unconscious, you little shit. <laughs> Nils, you're a smarter man than you would think, actually. And here's oh, something. Thanks, I think. Here's, here's something. Whilst he's unconscious. Um, <laughs> Can you look at him? No, 
no, he's, no he's, he's fine. He's just unconscious. I've got a point to prove. And then I'll fix him. <laughs> Um, no, does he have any medical insurance? <laughs> Just give me his purse. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, best thing to do with Noah Cole is to, it's, listen to about 50% of what he says. The rest of the time, make your own mind up. Okay, yeah, we can fix him up. No worries. <laughs> um, so how, how are we doing this? With it's a heal, heal test. It's just heal. Yeah, that's a basic. That's basic. Okay, yes. so two successes. I'm on 103. Plus your intelligence like a... bonus. <gasps> I'm doing you 110. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, plus, plus intelligence, plus nine. So eleven. Eleven. Back. Indeed. Plus just one more day. <laughs> Marvelous. As um, you come to, are you alright? That was Andy. Not the performance acting. Speaks. In reply, <laughs> rather low tone. Oh, okay. I'm Sigma, and I'm gonna kill every fucking Oregon in this city. Yeah. <laughs> and then blinks. Am I aware of? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You know exactly what well, you just. Last said. time I didn't. So yeah. Yeah. Well, that was terrifying. What, why would what Sigmar that? kill followers of his god? Why would he do it? He just said it. <laughs> but you're, you're not Sigmar, so that's yeah. yeah. fair. Looks like you're, well, you're coming with us, basically. <laughs> nobody, why did you just say that? I don't know. I didn't say that. He didn't say it in the big booming voice, did nope. he? That's, that's good. good. As I said, do you think some that someone else, or someone else said that and you're mm, spitting out their Could words? Be, yeah. Yeah, so we need to find someone called Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone who's so deep in their yeah, beliefs, beliefs that, uh, yeah, that they yeah. believe they're representing Sigma and all things. Is the, oh. is the temple yeah. so we still? Is the temple what was here, the right? What was the accent? It wasn't his accent, was it? No, but it was it, a bit rougher. But it was an outdoor accent. It was. It 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 was an outdoor accent, not like yours. You were more southern, um, yeah. rougher. Definitely out of, I think. You may? You got Laura out? No. She's got Laura the very few streets she visited all the time. I've got perfect, I've got perfect pitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, ooh, um, you may has Mimic now. Could she try and like, recreate right. the... Yeah. Ooh, the accent there. Go for it. Do yourself... Um, uh, mm. I can assist. Mm. I can give you vocal coaching because mm. I also have a Mimic. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah, do yourself an intelligence test, please. Okay. Lighting. Um, 28. Uh, yeah, good. two successes. Superb. Um, she does a pretty damn good rough approximation mm-hmm. of the voice. Anyone have Lord Altdorf or Right Clan? Right Clan! Not anymore. No. <laughs> ah, I didn't take up the second run. Well, no, could we do make more yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. Nine I nine. agree, and it did. Yeah. <coughs> Definitely given what he did. Mm-hmm. So that being the case, not quite sure, but um, Altdorf doesn't no. seem um, too far away. It, it sounds about right. Uh, what about Niels? Uh, Does he have more right clan? No, no, no. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never but been to Rackland. Something to think about. <laughs> something we stopped off on the way. It's, it's, it's all, all the way along, we've been being played like, like, like puppets. Who's to say that that was Sigmar and not just somebody using you as a tool to inflame the situation? Oh, I, I think it's more like they <coughs> tapped into someone else. Could you kill them? Like, like how they maybe felt? it oh. sounded like you. Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say maybe somebody who has angered Sigmar for co- using his name. Maybe. Yes. You felt. Um, now looking at it, you felt absolute certainty. Absolute. Was it holy certainty? It was certainty. <laughs> but we put we, that priest who was trying to burn mm. Magritte, he had absolute certainty. He was wrong, but he had absolute certainty. By the letter of the law, he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so and say one thing for my cult, they are normally absolute sticklers for the letter of the law. <laughs> Well, we're going into the town or city anyway. 
I need just I, and I know this is going to seem reckless having just fumbled the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna, I do have divination twice, so yeah. I'm going to attempt another divination. <laughs> Second divination. Slightly different augury this time, though. Uh-huh. Um, this is an aug- uh, a div- or a divination in the hope to help me find who that, that was. Per- mm. Mm. That one I passed. Sweet. <laughs> Just a pass. So that's on just div- divination? Divination, yeah. So give, okay. me a, give me a re-roll, basically. Yeah, totally. And then can you do your augury? And now we'll do, do your augury to try and find them. Yeah. Good. Augury, I find the right path, eh? Sigma would be a, not on board I've got a critic to get the path, unfortunately. You do. But Taking his name. I never have, so maybe this will be the time. This will not be the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good success. Good success. So what do you yeah. get on a success? Uh, I find out... Well, yeah, like I find out whether the location is good, bad, um, or neutral. Um, I think, can I get the talent? Yes. Oh, I, think, yes I think that's all I get on a pass. Mm-hmm. All right, so just uh, deciding how that's going to manifest. <clears throat> what about that one where one of us asks you a question? Can we do that one? The too? oracle one. Mm-hmm. Or- Come um, on, someone ask it. I can't it's, do it. It's augury, I'm doing this information. Um, he just took a bunch of damage. Augury. No, he's only got one. Just yeah, somebody ask him. Um, like, who is the murderer? Beware, I interpret some signs in the surrounding world. Um, I know if the location, uh, item, or individual you see. So, would it be the individual I'm seeking, actually, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah, well, because you don't really see them. Um, <coughs> but but all, all I get is good slash friendly, or bad slash unfriendly, or neutral, but not why. That's all I get for a pass. <laughs> so. Okay, so what I'm going to give you on that is... Um, <clears throat> he sits down for his augury. Um, <clears throat> gets his bones, and feels in his gut that the bones are wrong. And this is from the bone from the augury. Yes. These bones are wrong. That's what he feels. <coughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh? What do you see? I feel like the bones are wrong. Look, so someone replaced them. Is there any algo around those bones? <laughs> a little baby. He's drifting around. There's a lot of algo around them. <laughs> a little baby that's, that's swimming in it. That's swimming in it. It's, a, it's a regular pea super dinosaur. You're such a drama queen. <laughs> All right, maybe just a little <coughs> Oh, dear me. That they're incorrect or <clears throat> like. No, that they're. That they're there wrong. is algo around them. It's the problem with living your life by prophecies and foreseeings. Sometimes they're just not going to be right or give you the info that you need. That's not helpful at this point. And that's not what I felt. She says, not looking at I it. didn't feel like a prophecy <laughs> or a divination was wrong. Mm. The bones are wrong. What, <laughs> what were you, You'll what, give the bones a foot shelf. <laughs> <laughs> clatter, clatter, clatter. Maybe they're not the right bones for you. What did you ask? Well, I was trying to find where this... Trying to divine a route through to the person that he had felt. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't. I yeah. don't know whether he speaks that out loud or whether oh, you do he, that in your he head. Has or, it, I believe yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So we've heard that. Uh, maybe it's uh, um, maybe it's well, maybe it's linked to burn. So, uh, how do the Ulricans store their dead? Mm-hmm. Or, or maybe, maybe we maybe there's a great garden of more. Maybe, mm-hmm. or the the uh, those who are murdered. There's something about their skeleton structure that may be altered. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> what a daughter. They're all polydactyl. I, <laughs> I, I I have a question. Is a Kath? Yes. I have an extra thing. Is the veneration oh. of bones of saints That's a cool. thing in yes, the Warhammer? Very world? much so. Yes, and they are the bones of a saint. Yeah. The bones yes, of I know saint. they are. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking, are there other the saints bones yeah. around? Oh the yeah, as indeed. You could probably buy them on most street corners yes. for just a few silver. <laughs> they're genuine. They're real. One hundred percent. You've been offered them a lot. I'm, think- I'm thinking. Go bone yourself <coughs> with that, but not come out right. Um, yeah. Bones, holy bones. Yes. I'm thinking more along the lines of the way the Catholic Church 
enshrine them? Is there a shrine? There are many shrines um, to various saints. Mm -hmm. um, the concept of um, immaculate saints is quite common as well. Mm -hmm. Saints that will literally never rot mm -hmm. because they're pure. Mm -hmm. um, the ruinous powers have no effect upon them at all, particularly a certain nasty grubby one. Mm -hmm. And their bodies will never decay. So what if somebody was to swap out a set of holy bones? For well, then, looks at Neil. Did you see anything happen to the bones? Has anyone snuck in here? Did you take them? No, no I wouldn't touch them. What is is he lying? But it's, no. it's not so much... It, sorry, Father, but is it the bones are telling you it feels wrong? Or do your actual bones feel wrong? Like, it's you would know question. them. <laughs> and you don't know. <laughs> it's, not, it's not clear. Well, like, if someone took my sword and replaced it with a similar, I'd feel the difference. Well, that's what, like, mm. putting the bones in his hand. They're your bones. They feel, they feel yeah, like... Yeah, they're uh, your bones. Yeah. So could there be some other your influence bones. affecting them? Maybe. Maybe another blessed priest. Maybe. Maybe, although this is not, this is not a thing the priests do. Can no. I feel them? Hmm. You're holding dead human bone. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, human bone. They say that they feel different on your tongue. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Licks of. Lick them. Licking things is always good. a wrath of God, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, well, uh, The number is 39. I like this. It's nothing to do with my religion. Real <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wrath of the gods. I, I find your lack of faith disturbing. You cannot enact pray tests for D10 plus sim point rounds. Yeah, let's flip that. 93. Oh, 93. Yeah. Be gone! Gain okay. the broken condition. Oh. She flees. <laughs> Bones clatter to the ground as she tears out of there at a remarkable pace. Uh, what? No, 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 no. I, I don't have the capacity to do one of my manoeuvres, but just out of interest, do the bones land in an interesting way? <laughs> <laughs> I've been sceptical about what they might show me. The, the bones are wrong. Well, exactly. The yeah. latter. Um, you find yourself gasping for breath, attached to Greta with her. <laughs> what happened? It looks at me! <laughs> what did you like? Do I want to know? Who did you like? Go on, tell her. <laughs> tell her you like Lou Bolt's bones. <laughs> Who did you like? Just the one bone. Just really. the one. <laughs> I like the Lou Bolt's holy bones. Did you use this for divination? Oh, yeah, that yeah. second clause was so very important. Um, and why? To see if they had been tampered with. And did you know what they tasted like before? Shut up, Greta. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a pet on? <laughs> no. Well, you better leave then, because I'm going to bring them up. Leaves. <laughs> oh, bitch. <clears throat> I really need to hey, your bones are a bit weird. Yeah. Or something. Elric Street. <clears throat> By the way, I was thinking, um, if there was a temp like a Sigmarite temple, mm -hmm. it's probably being shut down because they're mad at them, right? But maybe someone is hiding in there and we should check it out. If they think they're Sigmar, they might be in Sigmar as host. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some bad area. Can I use my oracle maneuver to have Oracle time! <laughs> Maybe we should take this. Oracle talent. Always what? a fun one. What could possibly I have to, remember, be wrong? I have to wait for someone else to ask me the question. Yep. I was I telling them all. Ask him a question. <laughs> yeah. I take no responsibility for any pain you may experience from. Zero, zero. It's a pass. Yeah. Sweet. So, what happens when you pass your oracle test? It's an oracle test. And it's how it's been stolen again. <laughs> you handed them back. <laughs> that is true. It's on That is true. Um, so, pass revelation. So, first of all, I am stunned for stunned a, minute. a couple of minutes. Um, confusing visions overwhelm me. It, I get visions that answer my question but are open to misinterpretation. That'll help. <laughs> Your bones are wrong. <laughs> Your bones are wrong. There we go. Done. No. Uh, 
you collapse to the ground and you shake. Your arms going, your legs going, as your neck cracks badly to one side, oh. then the other. A burning halo of fire to your sensations bursts around each of your wrists. You can sense that just at the edge of your <coughs> just this burning fire. Um, and that fire forms in your hand into hammers. And you club, and you club, and you club, and you club, and you club. Now, from the outside, I'll admit this looks a bit weird. <laughs> you can't see these burning halos. You can see his clubbing. Um, and, <laughs> and as he's rolling around on the floor, <laughs> doing all of his clubbing, it's, it's, it's weird to see you over here, right? Like, <laughs> it's not the most noble of uh, maneuvers. We've just seen Garrett eat his puke, so <laughs> it could be on worse. The scale. I'm not the most ridiculous part, <laughs> and somebody Ooh. run away after licking my bones. <laughs> 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 and you speak you. <laughs> and the voice that you hear is not his voice it's a woman's coming from his throat and it's a simple one they'll never find me in the forest because that's where the wolves are and I've slaughtered them all he screams, loud enough that you reckon anyone out on the pier has probably heard it. Oh. God damn it. And that <laughs> is where we bring things to an unfortunate <laughs> close. <sighs> As we go... <laughs> 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 <laughs>